Hey guys. I'll have to get changed and a duty for a bit. What time is it? Because we have that birthday party thing. Um, I think meeting in Valentine is the worst idea possible, though. What? What? Much better. I almost laughed at that one. <laughs> What's this? How's your neck dead? Oh, Thorn. It's from Thorn in Annisburg. <laughs> Meg, thank you so much. <sighs> Sent that today. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. From, <laughs> from cash. You know who? Freaking Thorndemort? <laughs> uh, 9.30? That's right, I was gonna look at my telegrams there again and say, hey, Valentine at that hour is just the worst idea. Is there anywhere else we could meet? Killed. No problem. You work on that school. Get good grades. Cadet Slaughter. That just sounds like something bad happened. Carthy found strawberry. Found her at the Blackwater Crossing, taking her strawberry for medical assistance. Headwind is looking shoulder from Pobble Fall. Hunting runaway train. <laughs> Boyd and Dusk in Blackwater. Not anymore. Why is she using CST? Why? Don't do that. Don't do that. Duckman. I believe the train has been successfully set away, so with the panic, if anyone spots or anything, please tell Grammy I'll be there to take care of it. I'll be heading to Wallace to get some rest. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wanted, Pip, Kettlewing Gang. Potential calling card of the bouquet. Wanted Cora, conspiracy to commit murder. Ezekiel Isaac. Usually two A's, one S. I also learned how to give patients bed baths today, so that's fun. But necessary! But yeah. <laughs> Operation United? I'm making a custom template for this given that it is such an odd case and may possibly lead to, to an act of treason. Given the nature of this case, the updated news sections will contain information at the top of the dossier for one week before being moved to the bottom of the report in the archived information section. Most recent news should be placed on top of older entries. Maddock Farm is being called Shady Ranch by Billy Joe Barber and his followers. I'm sure others as well. Information brought forward. Reliable informant required. Document created. Billy Joe Barber has been looking to set up a free town out of Saints Crossing jurisdiction. While this may have been why he was seeking out Gavin Summers, we have been informed by Redacted that Barber has met specifically with the Bloody Hoods gang to achieve this. Rewards have been received that Billy Joe Barber is looking to establish a free town for outlaws where lawmen will be shot on sight. At this time, we are gathering information on multiple sources to establish whether or not this is treason, a crime punishable by death. <laughs> The objectives of this operation are as follows. Collect information from adversaries of this idea. Identify people of interest, be they directly connected by or sympathizers to the cause. To creep c criminal bastards from seceding from this great nation of which they leech. <laughs> the setup before this operation begins with clear instructions, procedure list blows, formatting and briefing for the Operation Booker Fran. Initial information. Who supports the effort? Where... Are they potentially setting up this town? Militia information. Where is this funding coming from? What sort of access do they have to arms and ammunition? Tactical information. What's the location? Is found less chosen? We will get info about the area, means of attacking, etc. Starvation. If they gain a foothold, we will starve them out by strangling supply lines. Psychological warfare. Release propaganda. Painting would-be traders in negative light using information gathered. <laughs> propaganda. <laughs> These are locations that have been mentioned as possible prospects by Barber. Derelict Fort near Kamasa River. Shady Bell. We need to start gathering information about who's hanging out with Barber these days. Wanted Sloan. Participation in a shootout. Noise. Cool. If we see Sloan, we can shoot her. <coughs> she probably wants to shoot us. I think it's funny that I... <laughs> that... Um, what's her face? Uh, Pav is looking at this as, this is treason for Billy Joe Barber. Like, it's, it's just funny stuff, man. Investigating Billy Joe Barber for treason. Tomahawk. 
Local fisherman reported finding an old rusty tomahawk with a battered blade and what looked like old blood stains. He found it by the edge of the river, washed up and wedged amongst the dirt and rocks. Did not move it as it might have been used in a crime. Can be found just under the D on the map where it spills in the Dakota River near Valentine. Ooh, I wonder if they put um, the murder investigation. I wonder if they're throwing a bone for them. Cause wouldn't that be would that be down from here? Dakota. Yeah, that looks like it might be for Boyd's case, which is cool. They're throw they're actually leaving evidence to help support uh what they're doing. That's really cool. Maple Pops McCarthy were solving to responding to Tomahawk Tip. Where it spells Dakota River near Valentine. Most likely here. Guess? It could be here. Hold on. Ugh. Man. Eyes. Oh, now the weather's nasty out there. Well, the crime scene, it's technically downriver from the crime scene. So if this is the crime scene up here, and they threw the tomahawk and stuff into the water here, the direction of flow is here. It's a little bit silly. A tomahawk would have been carried this far, but whatever. It's a bone. We'll take it. It's a lot easier than making them go all the way out here. Stabbing pains behind my eye. Okay. Yeah. You guys ever, you know, take a nap and you just are dehydrated because you took a nap? Yes, they were, uh, but they didn't go check the area. Someone's hopping around in there. They ran out the back door. Heidi.
No, nothing from Boyd. Listen, Gulish, we're not we're not obsessing over Boyd. Boyd is working. Uh, she's unlikely to be a target, but she might be opportunistically targeted. I'm sure Flicker wouldn't mind our peeing with me more. She hasn't been directly threatened. because Thorn doesn't seem like one to need a reason to torture. <laughs> well, yeah. Howdy. You all right? I said howdy. Oh, <laughs> I could barely hear you. All right. Um, I did just send you a telegram oh, <laughs> about you did. the party. Oh, here, what's going on? Hang on. Ugh, just another main chain that we're probably not going to catch. Uh, I. It's just um, my thoughts are that's in a few hours or an hour and a half mm -hmm. or whatever. That's starting. The times that Valentine's usually very, very busy. If we try and have a lot of people meet there at that time, it might be very problematic. Mm, yeah, that is fair. I'll try and see who I can nail down, um, and we'll organize maybe another meeting spot, maybe a little bit more. I at least send mm. in people a telegram or something, let them know maybe right. not Valentine. Because I'm not, where are you planning on taking the boats from? So first, we're going up to the hot springs, which are Aye. near, uh, yeah, it's Katara, so, um, or Katora. Aye. So that's to the north. Um, so I know it's it's clear where you want to meet at, Valentine. It's just, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe Emerald Ranch would be a good place at the station. Maybe. But also maybe have everybody meet at Bacchus. Oh, you can. There's just no communication from there. Right. Mm. Let's see. What else do we have up here? Yeah, Emerald might be it. All right. 
I'll see who I can catch. I'm gonna probably go just right around and see if I can find anybody. Um, everybody's probably in Valentine or something. I'll check all of the... <laughs> Most likely. Yeah, so I'll just let them know to meet at Emerald. That's a good idea. Okay, and I'll send telegrams to those who I can't find. I know, I know Boyd and I like to go. Hopefully we'll be able to. Uh, okay. It just depends on whether or not... Uh, I suppose he's got he's got stuff the case is working on now, you know. Right. And of course, if the state lights on fire right before then, <laughs> <laughs> I need to go get some food. I'll be back. Um, so no one can really be considered shoot on site. We still need to have RP before then. Um, they'll always be given the chance, you know, like, hey, hands up, stuff like that. And if they go and they raise guns on you, though, that's when you're probably going to shoot, you know? It, it's more of like a one warning kind of thing. Most of the times we give more than one warning just because it's, it's better for RP. Um, give people chances. You know, we don't want to be in a gunfight. Self-preservation, all that. But yeah, we're not going to shoot on sight. Anyone, really. Like, they're, like, you're not allowed to completely ambush people. No, nah, yeah, exactly. Shooting on sight would be boring. It would just... It's, like... Like, sniping isn't allowed. You need to have proper initiation. So I think, like, where when we came up on the Kettleman gang, ideally, I would have liked to see it have not gone to bullets that, that quickly. But the reason why it did was because we said, hands up, don't move. And not only did they take their guns out of their holsters which is fine usually you, you flinch you flinch and you can't really control that you know like <laughs> in real life you flinch you're just moving towards the gun uh you know in the game if you hit the button the gun is gonna it's gonna be drawn like that but when they go like this whoa didn't mean to shoot <laughs> when when they when they raise and go like that that's the problem. No, it, it was it was a good shootout. That's just saying that generally speaking, um the way they reacted kind of gave the law license to shoot when they did. And because they're a, a very notorious gang, <coughs> the law had more license to do that. But it still was not shoot on sight. Does that make sense? That's what I was trying to say. This horse, man. Look, he's so cute. I wish that you could get these default main and tail on these. I love this horse. Just like this. It's just too small. Enjoy your day, miss.
Hey, we're gonna see slowed down so the Gelman King Gelman thing was a win win. <laughs> I love how much you guys wanted to see her down. That's great. Poor civilian. Hey. Heidi. Tell that Thorn's eye, Siska. I was just about to tell you. Oh, I know. She, she already telegrammed me. I see. What? She asked about you on the, the boat trip. What'd she see? Uh, she just said, how's Mitchell doing? Well, I said, feel free to ask another question. Don't yeah, so... Be. Really so you clearly don't show any remorse. It said, yeah, how's your neck, deputy? Me. You know who. Yeah, who you should know. No, I, I'm aware. I mean, she telegrammed me from Annisburg. That means mm. she's loose. Yeah. Not responding to her, for the record. Yeah, that's good. Atlas, stop it. Yeah, she had told Dusk that Dusk better respond to every telegram she sends her. One hearth. So, yeah, I think we're gonna have our hands full with uh, another little shithead. birthday party to handle yeah fuck that bitch. once she say that though when did, how did she say that because that could be considered threats um it was why they were at the they were at the telegram station in saints new together dust i don't think took it as a criminal threat well there's uh, I also the telegram that she sent pavis a while back uh but it wasn't yeah, these new mm. Thing with criminal threats is only 15 days max. Doesn't mm -hmm. do much, does it? This horse is so pretty. Pop tart. Oh, I just love the dark bay on it. Heidi. I mean, the tack is not my favorite thing about horses, but the tack is absolutely wonderful. We have a farm and feed store here that has an awesome tack selection, and it's just, I love to look at it all and wish I had a horse. Look at the 
this with all the tooling and <sighs> leather smells great. Love saddlebags. Nice. I like these ones with all the little pockets. Little things. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I think it, this is like the collector's saddlebag, so theoretically different little collectibles. One coin each? No, you could definitely fit multiple coins. Those are those are good sized. They're at least three by three inch, I think. I don't want to be stuck in black water with nothing happening. Where are the things that are happening? I picked this outfit because it doubles best as off duty, I think. Where's my rifle? Or my other horse. Paste us out first. Get the rifle off of him. Then grab Alice again. Buckskin horses are gorgeous. Look, there's one right now. It's, it's one of the really light colored ones, which I don't like as much. And duns are even prettier. So nice to meet you again. I don't know yeah. your name. Who you are? Hello, I'm Joy Joy. I, mean, I, I have no clue who you are. I've just seen you. Yeah, I miss. It's Mr. White and Moxie. Oh, yeah. Calm down, damn it! For Christ's sake. Either way, I do apologize. My name is Mr. White. Nice to meet you. Mr. White? Oh, like the horse. The what? Yeah, my horse the, is the, tail. The, the horse. I mean, that's I'm... kind of a tan, like a creamy sandy like, color yes it's like cream like a dirt it's like kerrigan's cream or whatever it is Ker if kerrigan's what? cream came out that color i'd be concerned well i was quite sick enough it almost suffocated me and i almost died 
Oh god. Imagine choking on a drink. Imagine choking on Kerrigan's cream. Ugh. <laughs> I've decided I don't need to imagine things anymore. Sorry, I didn't get your name. Uh, name's Jojo. Jojo, yes. Jo Jojo. 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 It's Jojo Jojo. Jojo. No, it's just, it's just Jojo. It's just uh, just Jojo. Uh, okay, okay. Jojo. Jojo, quick. Yeah. The LJ storming around. Saw a cricket in there. <laughs> yeah, she shouldn't really be wanted, but whatever. Someone might pull her in one day and be like, huh? I don't understand why. I think it was for uh, robbing Effie, but then Effie was like, Effie was like, forget it, it's resolved. Is it? Uh, no, no, I'm seeing nope. clear. City's pretty. Of course not. Normal. All right, let me a... send it. I've got Moxie and Mister Wait hanging around, and uh, I see. On the telegram station. So there will be trouble soon. Um, uh, maybe. Has Moxie actually committed any crimes besides just reporting on our whereabouts to fuckwits? Away. She's always she she's shot with the uh, Catlin like, uh, gang and stuff. Just like I mean, like recently. Like uh, I mean, recently. she'd be wanted if she if she had. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Just the last crime I remember committing was uh, just telling Summers about our whereabouts. I don't remember uh, much <laughs> so crime. So chronic that. Eden, but no, she's done lots of crime. <laughs> oh yeah, no one. I knew she's like Rod Banks and all that. I'm just talking. Yeah, never mind. Um, Anything recent is what you mean. Yeah. Y'all read about this uh, new operation, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Crazy little thing that is. I find it sort of amusing. <laughs> yeah, uh. I find it very amusing if we're going to be able to charge... Fucking Billy Joe with treason. <laughs> Can you imagine charging and executing someone over treason nowadays? Just the fact that it's Billy Joe Barber and the fact that it's Pavis pushing this is what uh -huh. sort of. He brings it on his own head. He's such an idiot. You know, it, you know, it was a very interesting thing to read all together are you going to be uh around for the other operation training on the third and fourth mitchell uh i hope so that's a plan to be mm -hmm. yeah highly plan on being there as well i want to get as many uh, black water riots as there as possible <laughs> black water rights yeah i haven't thought i know about rhodesians i don't have a, a name for black black water black -watarians. black -watarians? <laughs> Sorry. wait all that all that's terrible yeah, they're really bad. We're just West Side. <laughs> West is bust, all that. West Elizabethans. Elizabethans? Elizabethians, oh, I think. Elizabethians. Oh, but that sounds Please. biblical. Sounds something. Yeah, you read the story of Elizabethian uh, 319, you know, something like that. I don't know. I don't know the Bible. <laughs> the Bible. See, I, I know I know the Bible just a wee bit too much for that to <laughs> sink in. I see. You, you see something out there? You just want to get a little bit of sun. I'm literally so bored. I just can't stand it here anymore. Uh -huh. Um, we go out. <sighs> uh, fuck. Should we go out if Moxie and Wiley? I mean, there's, there's, they're not doing anything. We can go up to a strawberry and come back. Yeah, we can do that. Doesn't matter. I just, I know. Yeah, they had patrol. someone in the Valentine's sales. 
Well, we can just go up and say hi. Yeah. And if nothing's happening, we can come back down. Yeah, let's do a little strawberry tree. Sounds fun. We could go over to Wallace too. It's always good to check on Wallace. Fair enough. Yeah, let's I'll do that. I'll send a tap saying we're going out. You have a good line for Zaf to use. Took out out of there like a bat out of hell. Well, I thought I thought that you two were waiting uh, over here. That's why. Yeah, we were just right next so, to Telegram, so. keep an eye on things and watch out. Wood aye. delivery, my Oh, well, I looks like they slowed down, which is good. good hey, make sure you're going slow in town, please. Thank you. Goodness. <gasps> they listened. I'm so proud. Oh Normally they don't. A little black water terrier. Sounds like a dog. You're right, it's like a Blackwater Terrier. Yeah. A Blackwater Terrier. <laughs> of course, as soon as we start out, it starts raining. Yeah, I've come to realize as soon as I leave a town. That's gonna um, rain. Yeah. <laughs> mainly if I leave my jacket back in an office. I always keep an extra on my horse mm. so I don't lose my mind. I just accept the moisture. Alright. Yes, <laughs> okay. I need to go back at some point and buy an actual hat to go with this outfit of mine. There's a rider coming up here. As he, Kick. that was um, oh, uh, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. We do want to question him, but I want to finish writing up the one of questioning. Aye, mm -hmm. well, and then we can wait on it. That's fine. He's, he's gonna be constantly going in between towns. So he, it's not like he's hiding or nothing, so we can take our time on it. Aye. There's someone come up behind us. Who's that? Yeah, they were just sitting in the plains, uh, or meandering as we were coming up. Heidi! I'm pulling to the left here. Yep. Sorry, my horse did not like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Looks like they didn't want to chat. I did look like her. Hi. That's her horse. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
You were talking about La about that with Lacey earlier. You know what's funny? <laughs> I always ask about being a, a West Elizabethan. What's that? Oh, no, one, I don't want to come to you. Okay, go on. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. Um, is that the towns we patrol are so close? Aye. Instead of being oh, like sorry. a new Hanover. In all fairness, if you're in New Hanover, you're probably stuck in Valentine most of the time. Mm. Howdy there. Howdy. Wait, Billy? Yeah, it's just whoever did that would be hated. Like, hated, people would come to murder them, that kind of stuff. Even emulated the safety vest. <laughs> leaves those uh rounds on the table i hate them No, absolutely nothing. <sighs> yeah. uh, are you surprised? No, that was <laughs> a sad exasperation. Alright, we can move along. That turn is out there somewhere. But yeah, the thing about the new Hanover is like, uh, yeah, Valentine's always keep you busy, but all the actual shit's happening in Ansberg. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> it's like in Valentine, you get all the drunk poker players, but in Ansberg, you get like mass murderers <laughs> and gang fights. Yeah. Start on the cougars. Well, it's one of those isolated places people go to check their telegram. That's a horse oh, right there. Hang on. Thing. Hang on. Sorry. Always oh, good to fine. stop and chat and make sure that there's no one downed. Right. Saints Cross the Sheriff's Department. Your yeah, name's Wayne Cavanaugh. Is anyone around here or her injured name at any way? Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. Any around, anyone around here need help? Probably not, but it's always worth checking, I see. Yeah. If there's anyone around who might need help, please call out. Alright, well, we've done our due diligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd Thornton go? Uh, to left. There she is, okay. Alright, let's move along. Let's do a 
That's right there. Oh yeah, that's right there. I think that startling stays there. Interesting. Makes sense. Yeah, Barney Fife character deputy. Be hilarious. Just one bullet. Keeps it in his pocket. So he doesn't shoot someone for jaywalking. Just gonna go along the river like you usually do. Beard avoidance tactics. <laughs> I see. Thing about working in a nursing home, you watch a lot of the Andy Griffith show. There's a horse up here. Maybe Tibbets. Yeah, Heidi. Probably. Everything okay? Oh, there's yeah, a train. A Look at that. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. We had a reason to come running out quickly. <laughs> I want to check my telegrams. Just one moment. Tibbet, how are you? Good. You almost ran over my Heidi. horse. What? Where? I was very oh, well, careful. I mean, right there. in all no, 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 fairness, yeah, I got out of the way. in all I fairness, you did leave the horse in the tracks. Yeah, well, you also don't expect that fucking train. Oh, well, Sorry about that. Don't sit on the tracks with your horse or yeah. your person. Usually, he doesn't sit there. Okay. <laughs> oh my uh. God. All right. Well, I apologize. Oh, no, I know, hon. I know. Well, I hope y'all stay safe. Have a good patrol. Eddie? No. Howdy. I, I am Ed for the <laughs> Why did you catch that fella? The modern 440. Augusta. Ah. And deceived. Well, I think tomorrow she'll be on the train training in the evening. Oh, maybe it's tomorrow night today. Yeah, but we'll be uh, on the alert for you know who. All right, fantastic. You know who? All right then. Ta ta. Wait, Enjoy. actually, does that cost money? That train? Five dollars. I three dollars when I said, can I give it uh, the I can just cover it for you. It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, thank you. Oh, thank you, hon. I appreciate Wait, what's your? It. Wait, I don't know you. What's your name? Me? Uh, no, not you. I don't. Tabitha. <laughs> oh, really? Pretty name. Yes, me too. Well, well, thank you. It is a pretty name. Oh, thanks. Oh, I appreciate it. All oh, right. thank you so much, darling. Mm -hmm. Well, you all stay safe. Like I said, we appreciate you. Yeah, oh, you too. Enjoy the ride. Buddy. Go home. Absolutely, especially now that I've got company. Go home. Oh God. <laughs> Saints Crossing Transit Authority next stop road. Hopefully. All right, we can uh, have this way. I'll clear the background. Sometimes if you shoot, we'll run back. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Uh, hey. Huh? Are you making that noise, Ween? Yeah. Uh, what? It hit you. I'm, what? I'm terrified. I'm Wait, come, come here. Mitchell. Why? What are you doing? I'm trying to. I need to give you something to look at. What? What? What are you? Uh, I don't yeah, trust I you. What are you? What is no, this? What is this? No, trust Tr me. You're gonna love yeah. it. <sighs> it's not moving for a second. Christ. All right. Before you read it, you have to explain where we got it. So you know the cave under Cumberland Falls. Okay. I... Oh, we were looking for places for this little like birthday party, and we uh -huh. were in there, and we found this. And I was asking if, the, if that was the angel. Angel and Arthur. Uh-huh. Well, Arthur, why, why would you write that down? Okay. Okay. Why, uh, okay, why, but why, why would, would you, you put it, it up? I, I need <laughs> it back. <laughs> I need it back. I'm giving it back. <laughs> I'm going to frame it or something. What the earth? I have so like many... Gloves. I, I have so many notes that I just keep for far too long, and I'm like, that was mine, I guess. Yeah, I think I still have Moody's. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's not naughty if it's marital. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go right. Uh -huh. Right. God, I believe you keep something like that. I can't believe they write something like that down and then post it up. Right? I should have given it back. <laughs> I found this! Here you go! Oh, that's yeah, terrible. You drop this and give it back. She probably would have gotten mad at you and said, why did you do that? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know her well enough. That was the first time I've ever met her. I was <laughs> like, wait, her name is Angel. But if I knew her at least one other time, I, I probably would have. I should have been like, this was handed in to the Saints Cross from Sheriff's Department by a concerned citizen. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I think my uh, favorite part was you thinking Marital was Marshall. <laughs> I, I read it as Marshall at first, okay? I'm in, I'm an innocent boy. I'm just a little guy, alright? He's so innocent. I would never think of such devious acts at first glance. There's a bear, so let's turn right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good they like to linger down there. You can see them shining brightly in the moonlight back there. Just like Angel and Arthur in the waterfall. <laughs> That's fair, that's fair. Yep. Get this horse. <laughs> You're off on a little adventure. Uh huh. Uh oh. Huh? Is everyone okay here? Looks like a wolf attack. Oh, yes. Everyone's been taken care oh, of okay yeah. though. Is that you, Bella? Uh, yes. Hello. All right, yeah. They are in fantastic hands, yeah. Nice. And there's the rangers up there. Perfect. All right. Hoodie. No, that's a that's an actual doctor right there. The wolves just clearly hurt somebody and. All right, aye, that's a snake. You've seen him before. And 
just to make sure both of you are fully aware that was Miss Thorn. Wait, that was Thorn back there? I didn't see yep. her. Wait, was she yeah. on the on the Arabian? Arabian, yeah. Yeah, the one that said, uh, you said hi there. Okay. I do remember she had a horse like that some time ago. Yeah, yeah same hairstyle, same uh, canter of voice. Could be wrong, but... No, I, I didn't hear her speak when I when uh, I went back. I didn't hear her yeah, speak. She let out a, a little devious uh, howdy back. What was her hair? I, I only saw her. Uh, hair. It's black, one side shaved, uh, fully parted to one side. Okay. So black Arabian, black tail, black no, it's a uh, work brindle Arabian, like a guppy. I've got one like him. Sorry. Trying to get out of your way, sorry. Right, let's ch check the tip lane here in town. Delaney and Cora currently Valentine, no sign of the other two yet. Valentine to Strawberry. Maple McCarthy and the Strawberry. Do not arrest Pip for one hour. No I'll do not arrest Pip for at least one hour from now. Boy does cart and cut co are putting a deal together which depends on it. Please not arrest Pip until we have passed the next hour. Alright, some stuff on the tip line, but nothing that really applies to us, so... Okay, I sent an update that we were going to go back to Blackwater, because I All figured right. that's what we're doing, right? Aye. Aye, my tip said that we were going from Blackwater to Strawberry to Wallace and then back, so... Okay. I'm going to have to go to the telegram office and send telegrams to everybody to meet us at Emerald uh, nice. for the thing for Kramer. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Uh, when we are um, in right. Blackwater, I suggest sticking together. Um... Miss Thorne had gone on the telegram station as uh, you came out and we're getting on your horse. Oh. And so she probably overheard where we're going. Wonderful. And she recognized your voice at all and from the little tidbits out of the last few days. Why did it make that noise? Do we know if Malone and Travis know she's out? Uh, Usually yeah. I don't hear those noises. Okay. Ow, that was so yeah, loud. There whenever I had read the telegram, it is saying that she was due for release. Got it. Has she bit people? No. Like, like bite? Yeah, the telegram from the guard had said uh, she's bitten people. Not to my knowledge. Or of stabbing people and breaking things. 
burning people. Cutting them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't usually have those sounds. Oh, maybe it's because I need to do something. So I disabled streamer mode, and I usually have it in streamer mode. Let me turn streamer mode back on so we don't have to listen to that horror, horror anymore. I will uh, linger by Thorn. It's almost always in streamer mode. How do I turn that back on? Privacy and safety? What? It's so fucking fast through town. My couch? Or streamer mode? Notification. Streamer mode, here it is. There you go. Okay. We shouldn't have to listen to that anymore. <clears throat> There's a lot of Everyone's just galloping through time. Howdy. Uh, howdy, howdy, howdy. Try and uh, slow down, keep it slowing down in town, please. Yes. I'm gonna go talk to these other fellows over here real quick. Howdy. Oh, excuse me. Uh, both of you, I'm, I'm trying to talk to you. Okay. Alright, Saints Cross and Sheriff Department, I'm speaking to the both of you. Please stop the horses. Are you serious? Like little Jimothy and some lass yeah, galloping in circles around town. Who am I oh. out of peaches? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Peaches, what am I to you? Peaches, what is what is you to him? Well, I, I used to know him. He used to work used at the to bar. Know here, darling, let me what do you mean? You're saying you don't know him anymore? Well, no, well, I mean, oh my I God! You already forgotten. Said, well, no, no, that's not that's not true. Wrong, gone. No, uh, your I, name is no. he's, 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 uh, uh, he's Wayne. He's Wayne. That's what he is. He's me. Wayne oh, the Owl. You call me outside. Goodbye. Oh, uh, goodbye. <laughs> I didn't hear anybody. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> okay. Artina, come on. Mm-hmm. Howdy. Howdy. How are you? I'm doing right. How are you? Oh, you know, sunshine and daisies. Well, it's always good to hear. Yeah. Hey, Peaches. 
Are you alright? Hey, I'm doing alright. Oh, you just sound upset She sounded or something. sad for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I wouldn't say I'm sad. Do you want to fight? <laughs> no, I, I don't that, want to fight. Like, is that how you cheer up? Uh, that's how I cheer up. By fighting people? I don't need cheering yeah. up. You do well, need cheering I mean, up. Me, I think I I'm doing quite fine. I was being fame. selfish and asking you to fight. Because I've had a bad day. And I'm very hungover. Now maybe you should fight her well, to make yeah. her feel better. Here's the thing is I'm dirty and I need to not get dirty. punched in the face. You're dirty? I'm dirty. You're dirty. I'm dirty. I'm dirty. I'm dirty. I mean, I feel like I've, um, I've, I feel like uh, I've fought in deputies on duty before. Is that a, is that I'm, a crime? No, it's not a crime. But I, uh, I'm choosing fighting deputies ain't a crime. to not be involved in such scuffles on duty. Okay, well, perhaps it would be more uh, doodly like if you Are, did fight me on account of one of your citizens is Artina, feeling down what in the, the dumps. What happened to you? What is happening? There is someone oh God, like what is playing going on? with a bunch of what the fuck is wrong shells with shells or something? Yeah. Yeah. Got some money. Oh here. God, I can hear. That Martina. is the worst Martina. sounding God. ear cleaning what? I've ever heard in my life. Sounds like she's chattering her teeth. You <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you How about now? Hello. You look, uh, are, Hello. Are you are you covered in like mud? Oh my mate? goodness, guys! Hey, it's the Higgins. Okay. Yeah, you look like a completely different person right now. You're what the dead. heck? You look you look like you're like a uh, dead person. Okay. Is risen from the grave. In your mouth? No. You want a knuckle sandwich? Uh, fight, fight, no. fight, fight. If you're going to be fighting the ass that you'll take at the lumber yard. No, no, no. We're going to take it right here, right in no, front of everybody. No, no. Yeah, if you're right, right, right here, <laughs> yes. then we've got to start <laughs> right handing out lawful everyone. orders, and I'd rather not do that, Keith. Right in front of you, very pretty lady. I can watch, I can watch over, I can watch over the, um... The fence? I don't know. The fence is pretty tall. Now we can't see it from here either. In front of this incredibly attractive lady. <clears throat> yeah. Now she's gone. Now my drive is gone. That is Thorn it's right like, there. You got a smell about you? I don't know. She she rubbed her neck or something and walked away from you. This place brings back memories, doesn't it? Really? Shadows and corners. It's just another telegram station at me. Nothing special by it. Really? Everyone's taken by a dirty bottle. Well. Yep. If it wasn't memorable enough, perhaps that's my sin, not yours. No, but thank you for offering. Yeah. No one really likes it. Author that just goes around talking about their own work all the time. It's quite pretentious, to be honest. I don't recall asking you. Oh, I like to give my opinion anyway. It's kind of like a key part of who I am. I can tell. It's like a, a book signing where nobody shows up. It's disappointing to all, truly. Okay. Oh my God. Hey, deputies. Deputies. Just make you know, a conversation. I it sounds uh -huh. like you are having a great Shitty conversation, conversation in here. Sure. Aren't you? Sure. I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, howdy. I, I'm sorry to interrupt. Was I interrupting something? Nope. Nothing. No, you're part. finally Absolutely making a conversation. Um, howdy, miss. Uh -huh. uh, what's your name? My name is Evangeline Thorne. Oh, what a... a uh, 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 it's a princely name. Prin I don't know if that's the right word, but that's the word that came out of my mouth. Also. I'll take it. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, I Sorry to bother you, but does anybody have a small piece of charcoal? Uh, no, I don't. Hey, yeah, piece a of charcoal, uh, I typically actually carry chocolate around on me, but I ate it no, not charcoal. too long ago. Charcoal. charcoal. Oh, charcoal? Uh, no. Yes. Yeah. Do you have a pencil? Uh, a pencil? Yes. There's a fire over there. You could get one. You know, you get some coal. 
Oh yeah. That'd be hot as shit. What? Well, not if you get it from the edges. What kind of shit hey, do you take? Don't burn yourself, please. Do you think that cold just cools down right next to a fire? Happening yeah. Right now. Yeah, from the edges, well. coal is very good at conducting heat. Well, Which means the that energy it also... in this office is uh, ill-matched for one such as myself, so why don't oh. I hit the trail? Okay, it was nice to meet you, Miss Thorne. I'm sure it was. Okay, bitches. Yeah. I'm ready. For what? For what? Okay, hold the name left and right on me. What <laughs> the fuck? What, Peaches, what are you doing? <laughs> Someone just fart. Wait, why? Oh. Uh huh. Are you stuck? Are you gonna write me down? There you go. That was like a low key taunt on uh, Thorn there. It was like, huh, really? Is this an important place? I can't think of why, even though that's Probably where she think. kidnapped me out of. No. I'm ready. Oh wait, that is somehow more formidable than just writing someone's name down. My face just for you. Are you looking at me? Who is? All deputies in here. I want you to be uh. clear on that one. <clears throat> yeah, let them know America's coming. Come on. What? What's happening? What? America's coming. Wait, yeah, what's, amen. What, what's burn happening? Amen. Amen. Yeah, okay. burn down, amen. Yeah. Well, Peaches, I'm, Peaches, get happening? ready. Peaches, Peaches, what's going on? I'm get ready. Just, There's a reckoning. We're purpose. having, we're having a lot of jokes in here. Peaches, Peaches let's jokes. ride. Oh. Peaches, don't walk Peaches. away from I'm this. Not, I'm not Peaches, doing don't walk it. away from this. Oh, walk away I'm from not doing it. Peaches, what is happening? Peaches, what's happening? Saloon. Peaches, after everything we shared in that saloon, just walk, walk away, away from him. Don't listen. Come on. Come on, Peaches. Let's roll. Oh, <laughs> roll your Peaches. It out, was out lovely to see you. No one is doing anything that was all a joke. Yeah. You, you know, in all fairness, I didn't hear it, so. Oh. Yeah. Um, just, uh, okay. I think you can just <laughs> keep on. Uh, she said yet. <laughs> what? Who said yet? Uh, woman did. I did, yeah. Oh, Molly? Martina! I, I, I appreciate oh. your friendship. He just said something. Um, what a, I, there's a lot going on right yeah, now. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you like I rotten, rotten toes. too much. What? Um, yeah, deputies, we are not doing oh, anything. Pardon me? Oh, sorry. Uh-huh. We are not doing Thank anything. Thank you very much. Oh, and, um, mm -hmm. This is all just jokes. Right. Yeah. You got it. Gotta calm down. I am Gotta calm. Yeah, Martina is. You don't I'm need to calm. do anything. Okay, good. I'm calm. As long as we're, I'm calm. Yeah. I'm calm. She's uh, a calm. calm. A newer Hagen. Um, calm. Calm. She's now. actually the one who killed Teddy on for always. Wild so West Hagen. Adding rabbit. more on to these sentences. Sentences. <laughs> There's no sentence saying. I'm just you know like one, um, making words. some notes. Okay, words. Why do you keep adding uh, more? I think everyone realized this shirt's a good shirt at the same time because I have it on side and now. adding more ominous Turtles is nice. Everybody's got it. Yeah. Uh, did you say turtles? That's a big word. Yeah. Yeah, it's a turtles sentence, right? I am om ominous. Yeah. Yeah, Martina is quite ominous. You ever seen her? I'm pretty nice. She has yeah. a condition. Mm -hmm. right. It's called ominitis. 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 I'm an onomatopoeia. Exactly, burn down him. I'm gonna go I'm check the <laughs> lane. Okay, well, in good luck on your face. condition. Good luck okay, on your yeah. condition. <clears throat> and. I need to I need to interact with him on Sive, but um we will have to wait because we have this whole thing with the birthday party and boy hopefully Vertigo doesn't forget.
But it sounds like his case stuff might just be... Should send him a telegram, like, stressing that, you know, it's fine. Cajun Ivy going to assist the train. Pip deal. Please double check Pip's report as someone has royally messed with it. There's a fair bit of traffic around San Diego now to look at the troll around. Oh yeah, Vigir. I was very deliberately like, hmm. I don't think uh, this place is that significant. I don't think anything important happened here. Dark corners. Cause she grabbed me there in the corner. <laughs> that person was the reason why I pull out my gun every time I walk into that into that telegram station. But Saf's not gonna let her know that. Yeah, big wank. Oh. That's uh, that's ten dollars for the dog. Uh huh. Oh fuck, I gotta wear that leaf. I gotta put that on before I go down with that, don't I? Yeah, yeah. What you gotta put on? <gasps> what? <laughs> to the tailor. To what? the tailor. To the tailor. What? Uh -oh. oh dear. We have Hot Springs outfits. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, well, you know, speaking of boy, Boyd was not a fan. <laughs> not what? at all. Not slightly in <laughs> He was not a fan. I was hoping to get like a like gentle the slightest smile. Chuckle. Slow down in time, Slow please. Slow down, Casey. There was, uh, what's his face? Uh, Jimothy and some lass were galloping around circles in town, and I tried to stop Gosh. and talk to them twice, and then they galloped out of town. Yeah, me and McCarthy <sighs> saw him. Oh, that's it. The Hagens are always a little goofy. Angel. The adventure of life team. Mm -hmm. Why? Why am I so apprehensive? I don't think you're ready. Pavis said the same thing. Are Are people gonna be fully clothed? What's fully? <sighs> oh boy! No! <laughs> oh, wait! No! 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 We're not done yet. What do you mean? <laughs> 
Why? This is horrible. It's great. No, it's not. What's wrong with you? Everything. Okay. Wow. Huh. Hi, I'm. You know what I'm gonna be wearing? I'm gonna be wearing what I'm wearing now without what, the vest. What, do you wanna join us? <laughs> you no. Come on. Mitchell, what are you scared no. of? What do you mean, what am I scared of? I'm not what are you scared of? gonna look, look ridiculous. Don't you like Surround suspenders me. add a bit to it? Oh my goodness. You wanna snap them? No, I don't <laughs> wanna snap them. What on earth? She has an extra badge pinned just to the suspenders. Yeah. One on the jacket, one on the suspenders. It's a whole thing. Do you like our goggles? Just so we can swim. <laughs> Uninterrupted. I have a hairband so I can pull wet hair back out of my face and be majestic. Come on, Mitchell. There are other colors in these pants, too. Or the, there are these pants in other colors. I'm very happy with what I'm currently wearing. What, you don't want to join us and match with us? <laughs> no, I, I do not. <laughs> Absolutely do not. Come on, I think laugh. this collar would look great on you. No, I you used to, I used to, it. no, I used to wear a jacket like that, but not, um, like that. Nope. Uh-huh, why not? Come on. Because I keep myself covered. You know, I'm barely, I'm barely hanging in here. <laughs> this is for fun. It's a good laugh. Uh-huh. It's Kramer's birthday. It's Kramer's uh -huh. birthday. Come on. No, what if I, I give you the 50 bucks? No, I, no, I've got other... I don't have space for something like that. I don't want uh -huh. something like that. <gasps> something like that? I, it's her <clears> hot springs so outfit. I don't, I don't care. I will wear what I've got to the hot springs. I'm so hurt. She Nothing doesn't to be hurt outfit. over. She doesn't. We okay. were so At hard. least she wasn't, at least she wasn't like rude about it like Boyd was last night. Yeah, Boyd was kind of a dick about it. <laughs> what he see? He was like, what did he say? Absolute no 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 wait wait how does it go? Absolutely not. No, how does he sound? I can't do an Australian not like accent. Australian. I know it's not. Absolutely I know it's not. <laughs> yeah, he was very against it. You would rather? What did he say? He I agree. Like, I'll die. go. I'll go with. I think he absolutely more, no, not. No, he said he'd rather find the tallest building in Anthony, jump off it onto oh, yeah. a thumbtack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Face first. <laughs> yeah, he would not. Yeah. <laughs> Quite rude about it. Here, here's yeah. just what's the thing though. What if we are coming back in the town, and uh -huh. as we're coming to town, the bank, the bank alarm goes off. Well, then and then we'll it's all the most have interesting, a yeah, the most interesting we, yeah. bank robbery in the history of the country. Alright, all right. What if we're up there? What if we're up there at the hot springs, up. and then do, 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 along comes Gavin Summers and has band of criminal How friends. Then we go no, down, down in this yeah. outfit. Imagine us shooting him down in this. <laughs> We'd go down in history, to be honest. Who's they had other colors. What, what, what are you on the roof, sir? Why are we on the roof there, bud? Uh, I don't know. All right, well, it is trespassing, so please don't do it again. You can and will be charged. I sir. Mm-hmm. I think it was, yeah. Yeah. The combination of our chest hair. Kramer doesn't have chest hair though, so. He has two. He has two. Oh, actually, you yeah, can summer see maybe laughing too hard to fight. <laughs> wait. He just went in there, so now we can't change. Yeah, we gotta wait. Awkward. Good, good job, all of you. Good job. <laughs> you can always do the work of shame over to the uh the salute. Uh huh. This I don't know shameful. we can just wait for him. I it's mean, not be are you forever. sure? Because I'm pretty sure that's shameful. <laughs> no. I hate. I hate the outfit.
Uh, a thorn has told her that she better respond to all her telegrams. She got to talking to her and Sisica, which caused Thorn to latch on uh, in her typical way. She used anything to target someone. It's about building the fear. And just targeting law because because <laughs> Flicker's a sheriff. I wish I could do a character like that just to give other people the RP, but I just can't be mean enough to be scary. I I just I just I can't play truly evil. What cheeky? I just can't play evil like that. Views now. Oh, I've been hearing Forrest is a girl. Well, is he? I don't know. Hey, how do you how do you check something like that? Okay. I ain't too sure. Seth's not well, scary. That's a question only a man would know. Only if you're a criminal, but she's not like being scary by being evil. Howdy. But what? Howdy. Yeah, then shoot him. How did Casey, how are you? Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just a bullet. What's, it's not gonna be fucking a bullet. Which is being a butthead. Why would, right they, now. Why, why would that happen? Hey, miss. Patty, again. Hi. How do you say that wrong? What's... How do you what? have we met before? <laughs> we we literally were just here talking with you. Me and you? I know, but I was introduced myself as Depth Dimensional, that's why I was asking. And then we met in Rose. No, Paige just told us your name, darling. Oh right, right. Okay, no, no, we no, I met you in Rose a while back. Oh eh? Yeah. Must have been a while ago. I hardly ever go to Rhodes. Uh yeah, it was it was it was quite a bit ago. You were on your horse. Uh, he usually ran I up to our, walked up to us or whatever. He and, Sounds uh, like me. Somebody else. I can't remember his name now. Anyways, uh -huh. what's what are you doing here? Oh, I was just hearing hey, something man. about then you shoot them and what's a bullet gonna do? Yeah. So you know, naturally, my woman yeah, ear is perk up, and I'm sure. Oh, well, she's what talking about hunting rats with uh -huh. twenty twos. I said, well, yes. I'm sure uh -huh. it's not gonna kill it with a twenty two, but yeah. Oh, well, a rat, really? sure, but please don't mess because you keep don't, that shoulders and tie and Don't beat, you uh, do that, Martin. No, okay, okay, okay. Appreciate that. Fine. Oh, well. The law oh, means. Like, okay, You're I'll making stop, I'll Butch stop, stop, get his stop. dad voice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. I'll stop. Well, there's one more. Martina. What? You might want to you might want to consider going to gun store to see if you can get a strap that fits that better so it doesn't keep slipping off your shoulder like that. Yeah. Strap on. Mass. Maybe now yes. you would be a good time to do that. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? Sometimes you play dice player. Okay. All right, you all stay out of trouble. No. Uh huh. Who are all these guys? Full house. You guys all yeah, yeah, here in the corner or something? Uh, well, we were talking, um, you know, but again, uh, I uh, asked about your fornications, right? So maybe 
Wait, a man without a shirt? Barely got any shoes yeah. on? Thought something weird was happening back here, sorry. Oh no, that's just Casey. He just uh, exudes sexual energy, I think. Oh, it, yeah, oh, it yeah. absolutely <laughs> does. I say it, man. Apparently, You're for an occasion, yeah, for an occasion, and sexual, sexual stuff. Uh -huh. Interesting conversation. That's no, good, strong wood right there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sure. Strong. He's probably oh clear out of here. Time any fateful run through checking oh, the whoa, telegram. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, I, mean, whoa. I mean, it makes sense. He's you know, logical cool. thinking. Yeah. Mike's gone for the piss. Sexual, uh, hit the head. Yeah, exactly. All right. So much sexual time. energy right. in here. Don't you, uh, uh, okay. Huh? Yeah, I think there's Italians, Martina. I think that there's Italians. Get you around, eh? Yeah, 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 this is my boss. boss. You did not write me. Is it raining? I heard the storm. Oh, Chris, guys. Oh. I'm going. I think it changed its mind. Yeah, I heard me curse. Hi, Day. <laughs> Howdy. All right, well, I'm probably going to head back east. Uh, okay. I was going to see if you need anything, you let me know, okay? All right, same to, same to you. Okay, and if you... um. See ya, Jabez or Labez, you piss all on the same way. So where are we going? Uh, I'm going back to the office. Oh, okay. Good evening, gentlemen. How, How you doing? doing? Are you okay? Doing all right. Hey, what the hell? Good seeing you. No. You let your hair down. He noticed? That's a little creepy. Huh. Uh, so oh. we are going to go off duty just for a wee bit while we yeah, gather the rest of the supplies for the party. Okay. okay. Yeah, a wee bit. All right. Aww. You never wrote me back. I sent you my telegram and everything. Well, I, I put it in the file. The file? How's your uh, apple juice drinking uh, and making going? You know, I woke up on that same road you left me on uh, a day later. Huh. Well, I suppose it's a good thing that cart of yours broke down then, hi. Huh? Pounding headache. <laughs> you doing an apple juice it. delivery, huh? Mm. The kids needed their apple right. juice. Fine. <laughs> now, Jack, don't go breaking my heart and doing crime, okay? I would have been a scout spy. Uh, well, that's All right. Oh. Well, uh, what, what's Please with the jackets if you don't somebody while wearing this. Uh, why am I standing next to all of you? I'm gonna go back to the office. <laughs> Guys, did you hear the Digenzo say, ah, oh, you let your hair down? Like, what a thing to notice. Not gonna lie, it'd be pretty hilarious if they went after Saffron because of the whole thing with Boyd. <laughs> I don't think they'd know about... They wouldn't know about them, most likely, unless they heard it from, like, Sam Bass or Eugene or something, though. I, I would feel, like... Unless there's, like, people that make it... Their business to... <gasps> Do Valentine to report on lawmen, um, relationships, checkups, and stitch picking. Doctors and Valentine, make sure you're in tip top shape for duty. Pretty sure. Hey, I'm Mitchell. My three Dichinzos just rolled through town. Uh, it one of the one. I'm sorry. Yes. Can, one can you try one? and say that all over again? I said, was it one of the wanted ones? Uh, I don't know, but I, I can you say it. I mean, I don't really know of him. I just know it, it was to change. There's only one left that we got to arrest, I think. 
I just noted uh, I said evening gentlemen to pass by and then they, they said how's it going and then heard him muttering oh you let your hair down sort of an odd mm. thing for them to go noticing that's all I'm sure they prefer to keep their tabs on women probably but who cares that's they... quite neat I'll admit um there's a lot of uh, hullabaloo about those fellas, but then they just turn out to be some spectacular cowards. And that's usually the way things work, but I think they're the type to operate in the shadows, snatch people up when they're unaware, that sort of stuff. So, I mean, that's a valid reason to have concern. I mean, yeah. I know, people were saying, like, they were talking them, them up like they were a threat to, you know, rather than, you know, a threat in general. Does that make sense? Well, I mean, I think they are probably a threat in general. They've done a lot of stuff. No, you're missing thing. I'm basically saying, yeah, they, they will snatch people up, they're violent criminals, but at the end of the day, they, uh, They'll not do anything unless they, yeah, yeah. Uh, anything. What's no, remotely they've even literally, they they've out. literally came to town and thrown a tomahawk onto Cash's chest. That's ballsy. It could be very interesting, RP. She'd have to find out about Seth and Boyd, though. Yes, this is like people do talk. If uh, Boyd goes to the thingy, I'll go. Yeah, it depends what Dust might have told her.
I put my gun in the bank? I did not. Wonder if Boyd is gonna remember. Making Thorns howdy new follower alert. Is it? Is it really? Let me. You're not invited to the party. Sorry? Hmm? Sorry, what was that? I said, were well, you not invited to the party? Uh, no, I was. I'm planning on going. Uh, it doesn't huh. start yet, though. Ah, I see. You're going to wear one of those lovely jackets? No. I uh, certainly am not going to be. Good to see one of you has taste. Is half an hour. We want him and Cyber to get in a shenanigan. <laughs> this door not unlocked. Yep, Scythe. That's how you say it. The... It's S-A-D-H-B-H. -H, and the... All those make the V sound at the end. <laughs> A lot of people say Scythe. Which is hilarious. It was absolutely not her name. <laughs> Sad boof. He started saying it correctly and then he went to saying it incorrectly because he knows. Something like that. <laughs> it's because she's in as intimidating as a size, to be fair. Yeah, uh, the first person to do that to me was Ace's Hazard's character. And then, um,. Gladings as Monroe followed very quickly.
No, I'm not gonna telegram that I'm going off duty. I'm just gonna go off duty and they can deal with it. There is no trouble, Magnet. There will be no trouble. We will be fine. No, we're on our way to the party. Come on, admit it, the moment you go off duty alone means something always happens. Ugh. No, I mean, not always. I hope it doesn't just so her reputation isn't smeared by victim blamers. We're just to be very ready to bolt if we see a large group. Suddenly summers. Yeah. Yeah. Geekademus, name checks out. Man of Summers rides up on South again. Yeah, no kidding. Saw a deputy writing hunting for crims by themselves earlier today. Yeah. <sighs> I guess if you don't care about ever getting promoted, I mean, oh, am I not allowed to answer crypt? Because I know the answer.
Indeed she has. manage a Welsh accent, Ember? I've never, I, I'm not familiar with a Welsh accent. I'd have to, I'd have to familiarize myself with good female voices with the Welsh accent and then try really hard. And I'd have to separate it from the Irish accent because the Irish accent really takes over a lot of stuff over there. Why did I come this way? I thought there's a crossing over here and there's not until over here. The whole place is a crossing. Sort of a killing time because I don't want to be there too early and waiting around. I wish I could use my accents in real life. My fake accents. I wish I could sound as cool as my characters. Searsha. Yeah, that one's Searsha, Mags. Searsha. And I kind of swerve Valentine. murder scene under here? He might have. Which is nice. Neve. I said a uh, mod that I used to have here um, he was Irish and so he did a lot to teach me a lot of stuff so it's it's less because I understand pronunciation and more just because I I've, I've you know looked up lists of names and been you know like hmm what name do I want to name my my Irish character <laughs> you know
was funny, it was running a character named Maeve. People had more issues with that name than they do with Scythe. Because they'd be Meeb, Mabe, Meeb. <laughs> it's funny stuff. The names are beautiful, though. Maybe B. Maybe B was definitely got called maybe. Crossy needs a Irish influx of Gaelic names and Celtic lingo. <laughs> there, there are quite a few. Um, Michael Sullivan does a really good Irish accent. I know, I miss Korea. yellow carnation. Yep, there are some scots. Yeah, I think some of them might have been um like members of the cut. I know. I, I liked gun. <gasps> Get a handful of Scottish law. my horse like less just like obviously standing out by the station just for safety's sake so if a large group were to ride up it'd be kind of welp yeah i could hide in a bush Ever find me. Can't believe Graham almost escaped doing this. This is pretty epic, though, being able to do this. Imagine 
imagine Thor's watching you right now. <laughs> if I go down like that, does it look better? Okay, if I leave to get up, I do that. Okay. But if I... Down and then... Hit K to get up to. I'm not on a stakeout. I'm waiting for the party guests. We'll be here in 14 minutes. Supposedly. That's going right. How about yourself? Be able to go in here. <laughs> you see me? Can you guys see me being like, I'm just, you know, watching out for strangers. Stranger danger. Can you guys tell I have stranger danger? Bionic. I mean, she'd like it if he replied to her telegrams. But he might not have seen her telegrams. There's no, it's not like she can tell whether or not he's seen her telegrams. I mean, it is literally a, a text message. It is a message made of text. I don't know. In Victorian times, people would send letters back and forth, and they would expect the replies within the hour, oftentimes. There were people paid just to run them back and forth across town. People, it was like text messaging in Victorian times. It amuses me how paranoid people get over an RP relationship more than the characters in said RP relationship. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Why don't you ever text me? <gasps> it was probably kids, so they were probably happy to get anything. You know? Getting a few pennies here and there, back and forth. But he said.
said the thing, Ferris. We gotta know what happens next. He said the thing. Boy, nine minutes till, right? Yeah, it's 921. I really want something to test a relationship. I want them to be in a sticky situation. That's what I would like. Hey, if someone was about to shove Boyd off a bridge, Saf would absolutely run down that bridge, firing at whoever was trying to throw him off the bridge. That would definitely face her fear of bridges. That is so cool, that sound of all the birds spooking with a single gunshot. That was really cool. You guys noticed that, right? You hear all the flapping and the crows. No, I think it's it's partially some sound effects, but yeah, it's it's really cool. I do it again. I wonder if it'll happen again. The crows got agitated. Not the same. Oh, it's cool though. It's so cool. Yeah, the details in this game are just insane. You got the NPCs that are actually French, and then you have the French Canadians, and then you have the fakers who only sound French, but really are speaking nonsense. That's hilarious. I wonder why they have fakers. That's really funny, though. No, the, the immersive detail in this game is insane it's so incredible 
I suppose you could just listen to the change that happens as the sun goes down. Because the bugs are going to get louder. The bourgeoisie. Waji. I can't ever. Bourgeoisie. Sound rich to speak French. I know, it's such a shame. Did you hear that transition to night sounds? There's still some bird bird calls, but There's a channel on YouTube that just says hours of this game's nature sounds. I mean, they're legit. This is what it sounds like to be outside. You don't have cars rushing by. do without that intermittent bug buzzing. Yeah, one minute and nobody. I'll check my telegrams here in a moment. They could just be late. Or something serious could have happened. Yep, something major could have happened. I don't know. Probably getting him his B Day outfit. Ew. <laughs>
Well, we'll just wait for a bit. I hope we get a telegram. If not, we'll start investigating what's going on. The story of my life. Yeah, I showed up for my friend's wedding, my best friend's wedding, like an hour before anyone else showed up. <laughs> I should have known. At least staff didn't plan to have not anyone show. Oh. Guys, my birthday, my actual birthday, is June 14th which is uh, right in the middle of wedding season and graduation season. So almost every birthday I ever planned as a child, uh, nobody could come to. Nobody really ever came because every weekend in June is sort of eaten up. A lot of June babies in here. Now mine's Flag Day. The birthday of the flag. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom really bad. So you know what? I'm gonna hide in the bush. Real fast. Oh, Caleb. I won't say my my family doesn't forget my birthday. No, they, they don't. They they've been good about that. <laughs> Chris, that's my sister. She's in the seventeenth, so sometimes she shares it with Father's Day. I'll be back.
You got shot. Welcome to day one. I'm sorry to hear that, folk. Okay, well. I think we'll wait 15 minutes past the meeting. Oh, there's a lot of people. That law right that's law writing out. I sure hope that's law. Howdy. Hello? Is everything okay? Yeah, we're looking for summers. You're looking for okay. Alright. Well I haven't i I've been here for a while, I haven't seen anything. Okay. All right. He was here not uh, too too long ago. Oh. He robbed some rangers. Oh, okay. Well, I've been out here since, uh, 9.15, and I haven't okay. seen anything. All right. All right, thanks, Mitchell. Aye. All, All right. right, let's head out. Back in formation. Alrighty then. Uh, I did see a big group running from a craze at one point, but that was like 20 minutes ago. So a group going from a craze 20 minutes ago? Do you know which direction uh, they were going? I, I assume it was from a craze. They were going towards east. I don't. I, I only saw about three or four horses, though. I was kind of on a cliffside, so I barely saw. I, I didn't actually see who it was. Okay. Well, it looks like they're headed out that direction now. I'll, uh, uh, put in a tip about it, though. Thank you. Yep. Edmund, thank you so much for that sub. What are you up to? Oh, literally, I just wandered over here because Valentine was uh, ah. having massive issues. Alright. I just started getting out of here. What are you doing here? Uh, well, there was supposed to be a birthday for Kramer, so uh, we were supposed to meet out here. So I'm out here waiting. Uh, yeah, but that. that was supposed to be almost 15 minutes ago. And a great I, six I, law just rode out that way looking for Summers. And I just got told by someone else that they might have seen Summers group headed that general direction 20 minutes ago. Well, 
have a feeling the birthday party might be cancelled because stuff is happening. I should probably go into town and figure out what's going on. Get yeah, back well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to head into the world. Do you want to come with? No, sure. I'm sure Kramer will understand. He's a big boy. Did you say Violent Claymore? Claymore. <laughs> Kramer. I am Kramer. Claymore. <laughs> Claymore. Oh, Shepard. Hey, it looks like he's on DE. Yeah, I just saw him in Valentine. He couldn't see me, though, so. Of course, I. They wrote out, I don't know where. It looks like Boyd was, had Delaney in the back of his horse. Oh, alright. I think well, they were uh... taking him to Strawberry. Okay, bye. Well, I told uh, I telegrammed Wade saying that if you've got a rest to make during the birthday party, because we were going to go together, I didn't want to go without him, you know. Uh, just not to worry about it. That sounds like that might have been the case. So. Yeah, look, I think throwing a birthday in the middle of the <laughs> middle of the busiest hours probably wasn't the, you know, uh -huh. we'll just get drunk and I'll beat the shit out of him in the big pants. Okay. Later on, when things start to quiet down birthday punches. I'm glad you've been enjoying him, Hitman. Birthday punches are a thing here, right? Uh, 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 I don't can. You punch them for each uh, year. I really don't want to be punched on my birthday. That'd be a lot of blows at this point. Idea. Although I could probably get away with only getting punched seven times. Seven times, like a, a, a dog or something. <laughs> no. My birthday only shows up once every four years. Oh, fair enough. Okay, that makes sense. Is it dogs that like one year is like seven to them or something? I mean, that's what they see. I think that that's sounds say. pretty silly, but... I think they're just dogs. <laughs> But they don't live for long. No, but not everything lives the same age as humans, eh? Yeah. Like, imagine being an ant. I don't know Wake how long an ant lives. Just get stepped on. <laughs> Wait, maybe I have an ant. Face black. I think it's like, you know, I reckon we got a pretty small chance of being born as human beings and not like a cow or something. Hey, we're pretty lucky, eh? Yep. So that could be, that's a saffron cow just over there. Right, sure. Just grazing in the, in the paddock. Just wishing to become a deputy. Okay. Oh, I think I might have stepped on a willer ant. My horse just trampled it into the yeah, dirt. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. He <laughs> shuffled off his mortal coil. That's it. <laughs> He's gone. He said about 20 days of pure life. It goes out to find breadcrumb. <laughs> Mitchell's horse just takes him out. Uh, you got like, we, in Australia, we've got these big fuck off orange ants. They're called jumping jacks. Oh, I'm pretty sure you folks just call them like bull ants, but they can like jump. And I remember once I was walking around this little rainforest around my house, right? And I, I picked one up. And I was like, real young, I was probably about eight or something. Pick one up, and I'm just thinking it's just a regular ant. That fucker bit me on the finger, and I cried for like two hours. Oh. It hurt. I've got That's a painful bite, huh? Oh, yeah. Real poisonous, stinging. Like, Ooh. It, it fucking, it starts swelling and thumping. It's, it ain't pretty. Well, I was down in the swamps, and I got bit by, I stood on an ant hill, and I could, I could feel you know, suddenly biting, and I was like, wherever they bit me, it left wee holes like punches. Jeez. Actually, I was in the Philippines when it happened, but you know. Fire ants are not nice. I'm just trying to take you out, don't worry. Uh huh. I like this one better, because if anything happens. I, you're yeah. ready to go. Yeah, I do like that go. one better, too.
possible summer siding. That was me. Oh, yeah. Coming at AV camera and Kate Shepard and Jack. Oh, yeah. So if they're hidden east, that would mean. Uh, from my craze, that would be the, the triangle. You know, Annisburg. Uh, Annisburg, Creek, Van Horn area. Van Very likely. But they've got a group of six out there. We can sit here and do nothing. Yep. I'm gonna go check my telegrams though. And say that we're here. Check mine too. My neck hurts. Ow. Also, Meg, I don't. Did I miss that? Thank you for the gifted sub to Bionic. Thank you so much. I have a gaming chair. It's kind of, uh, I mean, not a gaming chair, like a computer chair. It's kind of not working as good as it should anymore. It recently started staying up again. You say it's comfy? Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I'm just, my neck has been hurting the last couple of days. crazy how there's just like nothing happening. It's so quiet. <laughs> See, that's the difference between a Doctor Who fan and a non-Doctor What? I, nothing I said had anything to do with Doctor Who. I like Doctor Who. Nothing I said. In, uh, no, I'm not gonna shoot the bell. A non fan would have fallen for the comfy chair. I don't know how to. How do you do the finger gun emote? Remember guys, no meta in chat. That was it. Whoops, no! No, I didn't mean to do that! Ah! <laughs> shut, shut up! I don't do that. Saffron doesn't do that. That didn't happen. <laughs> can I, I can play card. Oh, like that. That's cool. I've never played with these before. I was trying to hit the next one. Don't, don't clip it. Guys, it didn't happen. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that's cool. Yes, that's great. But like some of these you posse it. Oh yeah, this is great to get everyone together. That's so good. But some of these you need to like bind to something. Can I do a jig while I'm on the horse? <laughs> That's pretty good actually. Okay. Don't like the the woo. Enjoying yourself, Mitchell? Why are you ask? Why are you saying something like that? No, I'm just just <laughs> making gestures towards the bell. <laughs> Not making gestures towards the bell. Okay, sure.
You didn't expect me to come out just then, did you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, sure. Hey, opium cigarettes are legal, right? I think so. Yeah, I mean, it's opium. Opium's legal, ain't it? Pretty sure. Pretty sure, yeah, cool. I haven't heard that they're not, so... Why? Oh, I don't know, I just got asked. They were like, ah, oh, is opium cigarettes legal? And I went, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think they are. As long as it ain't moonshine. Why? Yeah. One day that fella will fix that card. Hey, at least I wouldn't be alone, you know. Hey, did you send an anal? Uh, saying we are here, no, I forgot to. Oh, uh, yeah, bugger. That's alright. I'll go, I'll go send one. Yep, I'm with Wella. Yeah, but that would be that's not my fault if he does that. Oh. Excuse me, goodness. Like hiccuped. It's like ugh, a reverse. <clears throat> Wouldn't mind seeing a double date or whatever with Saf Boyd and Willer Lark. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. We just have to have to, something to do. <laughs> Antagonize the bell. <laughs> yeah, they are. Ozzy's going at it with her made-up words. Yup. Sounds like it. Sounds about it. <sighs> if they find them out there, we're just gonna hear of another big old shootout. We're with all the law down. It's like, what happens? Thought deputies were told not to chase Summers until a better plan was formed. So did I. And that was all just deputies. No seniors or anything. Looks like Shepard might be... Uh, leading it up? Heading it up? I don't know. At least Shepard's a good shot. Yeah. Oh, thank god. Someone updated the fucking wanted list. Oi. 
Oh, that's that's amazing. It's I was just about to go through this. Time. Yeah, I know. All right, I'm gonna sit here and close my eyes for a moment yeah. or four. <laughs> before all the bad things start happening. <sighs> Pretty much. Yeah. I have chili. Sit here and dibble my chili. Howdy. Hi, Aldi. I don't think I can wear well or winter. I sat down to eat. Imagine it's he's fine. still in town, but who knows? It's alright. I just didn't want to be alone. Blackwater's scary when you're alone. Spent a lot of time in Blackwater alone. <laughs> well, this today I was. I was catching up on reports and I took a walk around, but there was like groups of four and five people riding into town and I started huh. getting nervous. Do we know anybody who's wanted that has like really yellowish blonde hair with a really big mustache? Uh, blondie of the summer skin. He has like a really yellowish blonde mustache really big. He looks a little bit older. I don't know about the mustache though. Could be Billy Joe yeah. Barber. Do you know Billy Joe Barber? <laughs> That's what I thought it might be, but he was dressed way too nice for how Billy Joe usually wears dresses. Uh, he's just wearing, wearing like all black, black, yellow military jackets lately. Yeah, you know, this was real nice. He was wearing like nice clothing. I know he was eyeing me. They, he and his buddy walked into the telegram just as I was walking out, and they went to the telegram and then they followed me out and were like, as I was riding away, calling for the horses. So I went a real sneaky way to get here because I did not like that. I. I'm gonna go put in that I made to road safely. Bye. I can come with you. You don't have to if you're eating. That's all right. I can multitask pretty well. I'm a deputy after all. That's true. Hey, ma'am. Howdy. This here is a lawman with a hole in his chest. Wait, what? There are several more north of Saint Denis along the rail line. <sighs> the people they're bringing him to town, there is unfortunately other people looking for help at Saint Denis right now, so I brought him here. All right, thank you. What's your name? My name is That's Maynard. Oh, great. Of course, he went after Source. He said North Saint Denis, the rail line. I go send that out in the tap. Yep. We need to. Yep. There were five or six of them hurt north of Saint Denis. A long train. Oh, this is really bad. I'll be back. I'll be back.
Are you, are you sending for... Oh, what's that? I'll send for medical aid. Okay. Days. Should, should I ride out there and try and find where people are? I mean, we need to bring people in as quickly as we can. He said that there's more people getting help from them down in San Denis, so they could all just be gone already. But I, I don't know. What, what, Shepherd, uh, there's no one here to treat right okay. now. I pat okay. Shepherd's wounds. That's all I can do. It's a three and three of the chest. That's terrible. <sighs> okay. Um. Right, who's this? They all got shot down by Summers. Summers is in St. Denis right now. He's in St. Denis right now. Well, we've got Shepard behind the building. He's got three and through the chest. It looks bad. Well, Briar's getting medical here, trying to get help here. All right, let's get her in the tents. I'll just quickly pack these as much as I can. Nice. No. All right, thank you. Come on, Cameron. Someone said that there is more people coming. That yeah, Tibbet just brought him in. Okay. Thorn Maple and Fuller to Van Horn response tip. <laughs> yep, that's all right. The doctors are coming. Thank you, Tibbet. The doctors are on their way to. Right. Okay, do we want to leave Brayer here and go out and see if we can make sure that we've got everyone? Supposedly, Tibbet was saying that she sent two civilians uh, to grab the others, but all I, the only location I got was north of Saint Denis. I, I think that we should. Look, here we go. Here's another. Passed out on the side of the road, heat stroke. Oh, I think. Son of. Where, okay. where are the other? Wait, that's not one of them. No, I don't think so. ain't one of ours um look yeah if if you want to we'll get this fella pulled to his feet and then we'll head north to saint denis suppose they're all in saint denis though that's the only issue yeah if you and the weller want to go search y'all can i uh, he's yeah, helping that fellow up helping and then to his feet. uh was that Cage? I'm gonna bring him back here. Where'd he go? She put him down in the t I, on the tent. Him. He's okay. right there, I think. Aye, see okay. The okay. Aye, I see him. Wait, is there another one hurt here? Mm -hmm. Right yeah. there. Oh, okay. We we pack their wounds, but that's all that we can do until medical starts getting here. Right. Multiple deputies down, some are sent in the hospital. Well, now we are we getting a tip line stroke. saying multiple deputies down, somewhere in San Anthony Hospital. 
from okay, the right, that means the surveillance probably took him straight there, okay? Alright. We need to go check on him. All right. Yep, absolutely. I'm pulling this fella to his feet and then we're going. Alright, bro, we're gonna ride to Saint Denis. Alright, fella, what's, what's that hiding? Who's this? Hang on. Hang on. Stop. Uh, we're transferring them to Rhodes because Summers Rhodes. is around. These are deputies right here? Yeah, these are deputies. There's a woman with another one. We're just transferring them out of here because okay. Summers literally was up Okay, okay. Hi. They're not in there anymore. Someone just took them. All right, they're taking the roads. Okay, roads. Is there anyone left in there in the office? Is that all of them? Oh, well, that's what I was gonna go check. You just said that there weren't. Right, it looks cleared. So, so far we got four accounted for. Okay, so there's likely two more. How you doing, Cage? Yeah. Involved in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was... Alright, so where's the other? We're missing, we're missing one. We're I'm trying to locate for. him now. Where, who? Marin, and the, all the bodies that are in there. I'm pretty sure they're all being taken to Rhodes. Unless there's a headache or something. Uh, no, Marin was alive. She was watching it. Yeah, no, Marin was one of the uh, people that the civilians that helped us. Okay. I'd say she might have taken her horse to help right. carry him the roads, mate. Uh, all right, all right, thank you. <laughs> Who was part of that group? We got Cameron Count. So we had Kavanaugh, Sanctum. Here, you. So you need to speak up a bit, mate. Well, I can't hear. Ca uh, Cameron, Shepherd, Sanctum. Kavanaugh, Ivy, and myself. So there was five of you. Uh, sorry, and... Uh, oh, fuck. Alright, did you have... You had we had Shepherd, six, we had did six. you? There were six of us. Shepherd, Sanctum, Kavanaugh, 
Cameron, Ivy, and myself. That's six. Okay. All right. I had. I had. It was definitely uh, six. Gone. I saw them all leaving. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had Cameron. Who did you have? You had Shepard. Shepard I have Shepard. And Cameron, she- oh, Shepard. Shepard and Cameron were the worst injured, so they would they okay. would have gone first. The last four uh, was myself, and then the other three who were who were all in the medical office not a second ago. Okay, and, let's um, let's go right, back let's to head roads. back to roads. Yeah. Yeah. Ready, man, Mitchell. What happened? Fucking ran into him just outside of Van Horn on the train Get tracks. Left. They didn't want to come in, obviously. Gunfight started. We've got a few of them, though. But, well, that's what yeah. everyone's saying somewhere. This is in Sandini. Weller? I didn't can. I go this way, sorry. Did you say you got this way? I said I go this way. Oh. I didn't know which way you're going. Do you want to cut across the fields? Aye, that's the plan. What is what? Lord? Okay. He's back there. He's coming. We'll wait for him at the end of the bridge. There's Here a car. Watch a out. Is everything okay, Weller? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Bugs can fly out of my fucking eyes. Okay, I'm gonna cut across the fields. Yep. Watch out for people picking out here at night. Okay, we've got Michael here now. Do we have everyone I count you for? Of course, my team speak crashes. Everyone, a you for five of them here. We got five. Who are we missing? We got uh, Shepard, Ivy, Cameron, Wayne, and I don't know the one with the beard. Sanctum. Sanctum. Where's Sanctum? Hey, uh, Weller. Sanctum's there. Uh, yep. Uh, there was Hi. a report as we were leaving Valentine of three people who have been shot down somewhere in Cumberland, somewhere similar, uh, by Sorry, Scout bitch. and somebody. Uh, Fuck. They were then taken off on horses. Uh, right. no idea which direction, and but, I forget uh, who they said the three were. Okay, Cage, uh, you're on house duty. Stick with these doctors, whatever they, they need, you get a form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Thank you for that. Alright. Alright, how many do we have here? We're missing Ivy, we're, are we? Or is she right No, there? no, we're all, we're all accounted for. You're all accounted for. Okay, so we've got five on the ground, one here, that's six. Okay. Alright, they're good. Okay. Are you the gents who brought them in? 
Uh, no, but we, we provide a people for medical. That's ah, it. well, thank you, fellas. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Of course. I'm over here draining all that. Burn down. Burn down. All right. We're going to have to send an update saying everyone's accounted for. Got me to send that. All right. Thorn, Kramer, Maple, Cadet, Fuller. All right. Can you... Yeah, absolutely. Send. Hi. They're going to run straight into them. Send a... Uh, How many do they send have an on, now? Just send an anon on saying okay. everyone's accounted for. We need people to come meet in rows. Camp okay, then we can head to Valentine, Cumberland. Valentine, three men injured. Better hurry. Son That's of a bitch. All right. Rip. Well, we'll God go with him it. to the state to, I, and, and we'll go send that we're going out there. Rip. Yep. Also say that we're going to that spot in Cumberland to once you've sent that. Uh, actually, I'll send it. I'll send a separate one. You're you're sending that. Everyone's accounted for. Yeah, sorry. Um, just send that through. Thorns patrol to head to Rose. You got shot. Uh, they're gonna condemn the them, day one. And they're gonna run straight into them. All right. Well, they're not hunting for the bad guys, they're hunting for the uh, injured. The good news is, at least we know supposedly who shot them. Aye. Ow! How on earth did he get in here? I just really want to watch the top tell <laughs> Alright, I know where this is, so let's. Start going. Camp north of Valentine. Aye. Aye, you late, Mitchell. <laughs> this is still down with the white picket fence life. They might have been involved over. Uh, no, they wouldn't be going back towards the scene of the crime. No idea. They send that tip in from Emerald Branch. Aye. So there's a good question. They dumped their They could have left. But depending on the time, they could have left uh, Emerald. What? I was talking about, I saw Speedy and uh, uh, three others riding from uh, Emerald down the, the little river here. Oh, then they may very melt. Very well might be the people involved. We'll have to see if the people up on the hill are okay enough.
Best in horses. Best in horses. Do you, need more? Do you need to feed your horse, Weller? Nope. Okay. How's that Britain doing? Uh, he's, he's tired. Okay. He's getting on in his age. He's not doing as well. Let me know when you think he's got his breath. Uh, let's get to the, the Valentine. Well, we're going up the hill behind it. Oh, the camp on the, uh, the flat plan there? Aye. Yeah, we should be good. Right, I'm gonna speed up. Saints Cross and Sheriff Department, is there anyone out here? Oh, there they are. Yep. What the fuck? It's so oh, ma'am. Uh, what on earth? Uh, are you mama? I'm not your mama. been oh, shot but it's already been packed up i'm just trying to see how this one looks all right this one's been packed too let's should we get them back to roads is that where the doctors are going no no way wait uh the um, doctor's down in valentine oh, oh i know all right sorry. hello Thank you. Oh, God. all right yeah Why am I glad I did my morning, morning workout? All right, right let's hold on. Got down to volunteer. Right, a little easy for the doctor. What? What? We're getting you to the doctor. Yeah, that might be Hugo, and that means that might be Tyne over there. I'm a blonde one. No meta in chat, though, guys. Oh, well, if you want to grab the gentleman off the back of my horse, I'll just send the, uh, Say something about a doctor. Uh, no! I got told to go so Hold on, there he is. There's oh, there we go. 
Stone's been uh, multiple shots uh, that have been packed. Yeah, she was taken. Who was taken? Natalie. Natalie. That's right. Who are you? We were to be married today. Right. That Dr. We Tyne. That Dr. Tyne. Yes, Dr. Tyne. Oh. 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 Well, I All right, uh, Weller, come here real quick. Uh, can one of you give us the condition of the third person that has been brought in, just uh, so we know what we're dealing this with? This one over here has, has got a bullet wound that's arm and a knock on his head has been... All their wounds have been packed, as far as I understand. Okay, so uh, an arm an arm wound and a bump to the head, you said? Aye, that one in the corner, but this okay, fellow over okay. here, he's got a few stab wounds. You said something about Adelaide? I I was trying to get to come over here and talk. Yep. Sorry, my ears were yes. buzzing. She's been taken. All right. So, Tyne, Doctor Tyne, the red-coated man on the floor over there. He was the one who kidnapped Adley the other day, or the other week. I've been trying to force her to marry him. So he's definitely going Amazing. to Cisco at this point. Looks like you got two in your eye, Doyle. So, Speedy, Scout, and Tommy probably just blow them to pieces. Very, very lightly, because they, yep. they were protecting uh, Adelie. But okay. we'll ask them, once we get them up, we'll ask them what happened, see if they admit to any of that. Okay. I'll start an instant report uh, for this, yep. and then you'll want to add that, um, or, Riley, you're the one who saw them coming from Emerald, right, eh? We're going to go ahead and start speeding everyone. Yeah, uh, they were going... Okay. Okay. I'm going to uh, start an instant report, and I want you to add what you saw, these, because okay. we need to okay. start tying them in, because this is very much a group okay. that would have done this to these people in particular. All right. Can you tell me your name? Clean, clean the best way for me to describe clean it is, is they, uh, from Emerald passed over through uh, Dewberry Creek. Oh, and I caught them where the uh, the road meets the train track there. Uh, are, you, are you asking me? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, I think so. How are you doing over there, May? How is that patient looking? We have a few cuts and stab wounds. Not bleeding very seriously. Um, I'm just going to check to see if he needs any stitching. Um, that's the case. Uh, well, are you familiar with who Speedy runs with? I think that we could probably get him with? taken care of right away and I can look at the uh, Scout, and Tommy, Who's that other fellow that he was with? Because he was with two uh, two men and one woman. The woman could be uh, Jack Thompson's little friend. What's her name? Wisteria. Okay, yeah, he seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, this is all just fuel me pulling things yeah. out of my house. Right, I've got like, I'm just, two. Uh, I'm asking on a base of association. To the right arm. In terms of details, yeah. uh, I'm going to be the right shoulder your best and bet. one in the left side. Yeah. I'm going to uh, look and see if these are all through and through. Gave his name. If not, I need to find some bullets. The one gentleman had a, like a rougher. Not necessarily deep voice, but it was. I'm fucking lost. We'll maybe tell me it wasn't with them. Since we are dealing with an artery. I mean, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be out of the box to imagine them doing it on his behalf. Doing all right. Was Scout with Speedy? Um, do you have a description or voice? Uh, uh Scout. Yeah, he can wear a black beanie. Uh, deeper. He's yes. now spouting Stitching. a beard. I believe I saw John. And he wears your sweater. We're doing that, great. That's stingy. I don't think I saw the sweater. Yes, this is going to cleanse it. It will help. Me. Definitely saw John. I just need to see if beanie. this is a through and through of the bullet and all the way through. Like or black. I need to look and see if there's a bullet inside. Yeah, okay. Black beanie. Okay. Yeah, but was he wearing all black under his black beanie? All of them pretty much were, apart from yeah, Speedy, who was wearing uh, like a lighter shirt. Okay. Um, right, so this like is in your oh, the fellow had a dark a voice, a deep voice, whatever. I'm just gonna see which ones. What do you look like? Stitching versus bandaging. Uh, I want to say long hair. 
this last detail. It was dark and I was more in a hurry trying to find uh, or get to Ruth. Yeah, okay. So, so far, the only two people okay. that we've got in confidence is, I believe, the medical team got a report. Bianca was saying she had scout by name. So, once they're done dealing with that, we'll have to uh, make it as it goes. I don't think this is going to bother you as much. Um, but yeah. How you doing, Robbie? Howdy. I'm wonderful. That's good. Come to admire some handiwork. Yes. Yeah, good. What's going on in here? Go and get out of here. If that, that makes me feel better. You want me I, to get out of here? To make I, it? Yeah, I, if that's uh, all right, Gold. Medical office, please. Thank you. Sure, I sure can. Mm. Thanks, Robbie. I appreciate Wait it. Moment, I'll, uh... Yeah, he's coming to see if they're in here and if any of them are dead. Mm -hmm. He's good friends with Speedy. They're playing poker all the time. Him, Sorry. Tommy, Speedy. Sir, what's your name? Is, is he weak? In pain! That's my name right now! Okay, what's your name normally? Uh... Cletus! Cletus? Cletus Clifton! Yes, ma'am! Cletus Clifton. Yeah... Alright, let's see, where are you? You see it, Doctor? Yes, I think I see it. I just want to make sure that it's not uh, too close to an artery or any veins. If I can just pull it out. It looks like your thigh one is a lucky, lucky draw for you. Uh, at least, at least the bullet's a lucky draw, not me. Uh, oh, memories are coming back. Oh. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flush this wound out now. Make sure there's no other debris in this one. Since it's superficial, it does not look like there's any muscle damage. It's very superficial. We're going to go ahead and close it, and I'm gonna move to your arm, okay? Okay. Doing a great job. That's what my mama used to tell me. Didn't have much. All right. Sorry about that. So you're not uh, allergic to anything, correct? All right. I am not allergic to anything. No. Yeah, I'm fine. I just have a little headache there, and you. Wait that one out. Have you had anything to drink? Oh. The headaches are the worst. Sorry. Just Sorry. You're doing all right. You're doing all right. Oh. All right. Looks like this is clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and move the retractor and stitch this one up since we got the bullet out. Okay. So what I can do for you yeah. is I can put a little bit of oh, paint paste around the skin where I'm gonna stitch. It's gonna help numb. Ooh. That's kind of tingly. That sounds perfect. What is your name, miss? Uh, I'm Dr. Lee. All right. Let's get this one stitch close. It's very nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Unfortunately, we have to meet in this condition. Mitchell, just give me for a sec. Dr. Thine. Hi, Dr. Thine. Tommy just waltzed into town. Hi. Yeah, yeah. I reckon it's worth, I don't know, maybe questioning him or anything. I'm just going to go up to him, maybe up. see if I get there a general gist, but he seemed pretty Let's relaxed just walking around the middle of Valentine. Okay? He's not one to be relaxed when he's just okay? committed a crime. You can go up near him, maybe look to see if you see any ob oh, obvious signs like done. blood on his clothing or anything like that. You're a trooper. Mm. Don't know, can. Yeah, I mean, maybe, uh, you know, I'd like to question these three and see if they can give us any clues as to who did this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, do you want me to send Rip in here to help move to the cells, or...? 
Uh, probably a good idea. Now. I'm not sure when they're going to be on their feet. Ah, no worries. Actually, Weller. Mm. It's only Tyne, as far as I know, that's going to be going in the cells. Alright, two snakes and uh, Robbie just went off for a... Uh, uh, for Well, two snakes approached saying he has news to give him, so... Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah. I could tell him. <laughs> uh. I need to get more to drink. Very thirsty. All right, let's go with this deeper one first. Oh, okay, all right. All right. Oh, that's a jumper right there. It's first <sighs> time for everything. Let me just grab this and ha! put this on the table. Let's see if uh, any damage in here needs to be taken care of, muscle or the other. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put a stitch. And then we're gonna go ahead and close this up, okay? And I'll go to the other one. Okay! You're doing a great job! I'm what glad you're treating me! Oh, well, thank you. I'm. I would say I'm glad I'm treating you too, but that sounds okay. terrible. We're just gonna make sure it does, but at least you're pretty. Well, <laughs> Where's Rip? I, I don't know. Did he go out and yeah. try and see what the other did? I think the, the postal boys have been kidnapped from the telegram station. The who? The postal boys. You know those idiots? <laughs> I, just, I just got a tip saying that they had shotguns pointed at them before the the wagon. The I don't know. Isn't, no, isn't the poils the... Those hillbillies? I have no idea what the poster boys no, the are. Postal boys. The postal boys. Oh, the fucking, post, post. The postal. postal. Hard poster. Sorry. Hey, postal. folks. I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I'm really, I'm really in a lot of pain. Could you take your conversation somewhere else, please? It no, because we're trying to get down to the bottom of things. Well, I Don't can't really rude. do that. Could I actually Here's trouble law for one thing for me? Uh, sure. what you need. Can you send word to Rhodes? Let them know that patients did arrive here. We are currently working on them, but if they need assistance, we will come there. I understand. I'll send it to right, Thank you, Briar. Thank you. Uh, Rip, Rip Riley. We go from no crime to everyone's being shot and kidnapped at the same time. Of course. All right, I'm sorry I can see this muscle stitch sure holds. Yes, fine. They must be cleaned, right? Absolutely. They did have you draped over the back of the horse. We don't want anything like that getting All right. Chest. We're going to go ahead and make this one. We're going to go with an S stitch for this, you know? I'm going to. Uh, Especially right on my chest, an infection would. I'm going to use silver mm -hmm. reduction. Exactly. There's a good. lot of vital things there we don't want dealing with an infection there. Could very easily go to my heart. For oh, hey. I think you're doing it. All right, let's see if this holds. Silver thread's a bit stronger than the horsehair. Oh, there we go.
Let's get these out of here too. You don't want that in there. Oh, it'd be a neat souvenir. Whew. Yes, maybe on the outside. Maybe on the outside. Alright. Let me just uh, flush this out and we'll close this one up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if Sanctum will get suspended for that one. Uh, Deputy? Hi. He's ready to be picked up. Alright, um, uh, go ahead and help him up. I'll be here. Okay. No, they were out hunting for him. Alright, I'm just gonna clean the rest of you up. Get your clothing right. straight. Right. Get ready come. to... Uh, Rip, you come with me as well. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 hey. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got to get tied into a cell. Yep, correct. But so, I know uh, I know who did it. Okay, who did it? Uh, I have a witness. It was Emmett, Speedy, and uh, what's his name? Scout. And they okay. shot first. And then they took Adelaide from them. Good. All right, got well, it. we've got to put okay. a wanted probably for vigilantes and soul is deadly with them. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, well, yeah, get their story first well, and see exactly what popped it off. But me and Rip, uh, do you want us to go investigate that potential kidnapping? Because supposedly they're heading someone towards Emerald Ranch. Uh, I, I mean, sure. Basically, yeah, what I want to do is just ride straight to the telegram office, see if we see anything. If we don't, we'll ride okay. straight back here. All right. All right, because we don't have enough time or right. resources. I'm gonna put salve on this, but I'm going to move on to this other one because they look like they're pretty close. So I don't want to wrap it and then have to try to move around it. So let me put it here. Okay. Thank you for keeping me all set here. I'll uh, uh yes. go ahead and help you up to your feet here in just a moment. <laughs> there you go. Here's your hat. I need you to turn around. Thank you. Face away from me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go take a look at the other one. Why? Why do I need to turn around and face you? Cause you're under arrest, that's why. And what did I do? I... under arrest? <laughs> Alright, I need you to oh, quickly take good. a nap, sir. Just shut your eyes real quick. All right. Oh. All right, let's get this going up. Doesn't look like it hit the muscle. It's pretty um, pretty shallow. But oh, that's like so stage. good. That's so good. Look at all the crooked picture frames, guys. Mm. Alright. I think we got one more dog come on, after this come one. Come with me, sir. Why am I under arrest? I'm we'll talk about it in the office. I, I believe the other ones. Just follow the deputy for now. I think he's the one on the shoulder. Hugo, are you alright? Yes, I'm okay, doctor. Alright. So, if you got this one, I'm gonna keep an eye on the other two. Are they I'm... under arrest as well? Uh, not this team. Uh -uh. Alright. I'm pretty sure they've been being manipulated by this fella. Okay. But so, I don't mean do anything with him? Manipulated. I don't know what you're talking so. about. All right, sure. I know enough about what I'm talking about, so it's enough for the both of us. All right, well, maybe we can have a talk about it then. We will. And I'm going to search. And I'm going to search you. Maybe you can understand things a bit clearer. All right, do you want me to keep an eye on them or stick in here with you then? Uh, I mean, wh whichever one you feel. Uh, well, if they ain't... They're well, not if, under arrest. Okay, then I'll stick with you. Instead, stay in the dark. Listen, I just want to let you know. There we are. Oh, go ahead. Ah. 
Han? Why are you taking my letters from me? Because I'm doing an investigation, sir. All right, I need to go send another tip since Kramer ain't arrived yet, and I arrived before him, and I think he left before me, so I'm gonna send another tip trying to find out where he is. All right. All right, come over here and... All right, come over here and I'll have to get those cups off you if you turn around. All right, one moment while I pull up this paperwork. Yes. A moment. Uh, do you recall the events of me 25th? Sir. Yes, I do. I know exactly what you're speaking of. And what would I be speaking of? Hmm. You're talking about the time that... Right. Let me see here. A lot has happened. I'm sorry. I'm making sure I have my thoughts correct. Ah, yes. I assume you're speaking of the scuffle that me and Hugo had with Speedy. Aye. Yes, I recall those events very well. You want to put them in your own words for me? Oh, yes, of, of course, my own words, yes. Well, it seems to me that everyone, including Hugo, is very confused on what is happening. Deputies are you see, present? a very long time ago, me and Adelaide were together in love and about to get married, just like today, which has been completely ruined. And just like what's happening now. What your name? A very bad group of men tried to take Adelaide away from me. Saying I'm some bad man and I've done all these things, which I have done nothing at the time. I'm sure somewhere you can dig in your records and, and find that information. If it's even anywhere like that. There's a certain deputy you could talk to. And who is that? A McKinna. He could tell you everything. Okay. We are taking into account. And just like everything now, about what specifically? Okay. One more second. Well, Another about this. Video. About this Danny Kerrigan trying to kill me. You see? He threatened me and Adelaide to leave this house we were staying at. And then I... I took her to stay somewhere else for her protection. Later, these men find us. Would you turn two man step and they try to kill me. And... Are you talking about now, or are you talking time, about six months ago with Dana Kerrigan? Six months ago. I'm just giving you a little perspective, deputy, or is it sheriff? I'm just a deputy, sir. I just want you to understand, you see. 
No, I, I do understand a wee bit because I've had conversations with certain people involved in this for a very long time, sir. And the stories that I'm getting from other people uh, are quite different than the one that you're telling me. I do believe that Danny Kerrigan likely did something against you. I've heard that for quite some time. And yes. speaking of McKenna would be something good. But yes, I kidnapping think Adelie is not how to go about these things. I have never kidnapped Adelie. You kidnapped you her the other day. Understand. You kidnapped her no, the other day. Yes, you did, sir. She was tied up ask. and dragged out of town with gunshots flying. We have many multiple witnesses to the fact, and you were there, sir. And who was firing those guns? Speedy was. Aye, because you were kidnapping. No. You were people, the people that were under your command, Hugo, were firing back at people. They were firing in town as they were kidnapping. No, so that is why you are understand. that is why you are in the cell right now, sir. And I do understand because you know what? I spent about three or four hours looking all over the crossing for Adelie. Finally found her up there at that creepy lab. Both and of them was both she of them cowering, up? both of them cowering in fear that if they left that place that you'd do something terrible to them. I have never hurt Adelaide or Hugo. Right, well, just because you claim not to hurt them doesn't mean that you haven't been manipulating people and that you haven't been kidnapping people. Because what you did here in town was absolutely 100% kidnapping. I have not kidnapped anyone. All right, well, guess what? You're getting charged. Adelaide is my You're getting love. charged with kidnapping. And no, she is not. She cares for someone else. She is not your love. She Last I spoke to her, anymore. she certainly was not uh, with you. She certainly did not want to be with you. She was being kidnapped by you and terrified for her life. I was not kidnapping her. Well, no you did. What you say, no matter what or you say, anyone else says, you still and kidnapped her. She does not love that man anymore. Do you hear me, deputy? I hear you, but what the words you're saying me. don't matter because that's not true. You kidnapped her. You did kidnap her, and you're getting charged with kidnapping her. I may have taken her in a way that we have playfully done before. You, know, you can dress up with danger, fancy language, but you're still being charged for kidnapping her. And what about Speedy? Speedy, we are investigating Speedy and his friends, and we plan on charging them. I've got to write up the wanted's now over this whole debacle. Adelaide was just with me not too long ago. All right. Well, I'm telling you, I'm not charging you for anything regarding today. I'm charging you for the events of, the, of May 25th. Do you understand that? I've already charged Hugo regarding those events. Would it be all right, uh, May? Would it be all right? Well, it is very one second, unfortunate one second. that you are so confused about those events. I'm sorry, what's that? All right, wonderful. Okay, Fred, let me right, get I'm gonna get, get you more comfortable here. while I finish uh, okay, covering this up for you. Oh, careful. Uh, give me a moment to review some things. Yes, Dear Tommy, of course. Adelaide is mine. It's been long before you showed up. We were to be married until a certain Danny Kerrigan got involved and tried to kill me. I have not kidnapped her at all. You need to understand, she has come with me multiple times willing. She does not love you anymore. She's I loved me and only me. Busy. She how, only how feels bad for you. Here? We are getting married on Tuesday. Please Dear Adelaide. Time. I hope you understand that you're the only one for me and I'm the only one for you. My love for you, Adelaide, grows more and more each day. It's like a wildflower I'm unable to control, burning ever so strongly, night and day, hurting those that turn towards it. Adelaide, I love you. I love you more than anyone I've ever could, and I know you will see this in time. Huh. Well, it's sort of interesting here in this letter that you've got. C can you hear me, Mr. Mr. Thine? Yes, I can hear you. All right, well, here in your letter, you say, Dear Adelie, I hope you understand that you're the only one for me, and I'm the only one for you. My love for you, Adelie, grows more and more HD. It's like a wildfire I'm unable to control, burning ever so strongly, night and day, hurting those that turn towards it. Adelie, I love you. I love you more than anyone ever could, and I know you will see this in time. 
So it sounds like you're quite aware that she is rejecting your advances. And that is plenty enough for me, sir. I am not aware. Well, you're you aware. talk to Adelaide now, and I promise you I've that you will see that she has. Adelaide. You will see that she has changed her mind. You see? Still doesn't change the fact that you kidnapped her on the 25th. You can have this book back. I did not kidnap her. You did kidnap her, and you're I being took charged her today away for being kidnapped. From bad kidnapping. people, just like I did before. You go ahead and charge me. I'm not worried about a charge or spending some time in jail. I'm worried that you understand that I'm taking her away from bad people. You know the people she is with, don't you? Just because one bad person takes someone away from another bad person doesn't make it right. I am not a bad person. I have done nothing. Besides try to get my love back. Why do you think that Danny Kerrigan tried to kill you? I'm not sure. I'm not sure why he tried to kick me out of the house. Refused to work with me. Some people say that they just don't like me for some reason. Can you maybe see why that is? Can you tell me why? All I've done my entire life is try to help people. What sort of help and do you for some and reason, what sort of help do you try to provide for people, Mr. Thine? I have spent years, you see. Trying to somehow advance the ways of each and every doctor. And how so do that you go about that? People don't have to die like they do now. So simply. Well, Lots and lots of testing, and lots and lots of studying. There is many things that others are afraid to do that must be done, you see. Or things will just continue on like they do now. And nothing will ever change. We will not find cures for sicknesses. Things of that nature. You understand, right, deputy? But for some reason... Oh, I think, I think that I understand more than you think that I do, sir. Because I've been hearing no things where over I go. the years. Well, not years, but over quite some time. You've got a reputation, sir, and it's lingered in the cross, and you've been gone for a time, but that hasn't gone away. And what have you heard? I think you know. You're essentially telling me it here now, just using fancier language than I would tend to do. Hmm. I see. So... You do understand, then. I think that you believe that you have some sort of right to do testing on people, whether or not they want you to or not. Just like you oh, think that no, you have no, some no, sort no. of right, just like you have some sort of right to make decisions for Adelie, whether or not she wants you to or not. Because guess what, sir? You're speaking to the deputy in the crossing who has gotten Adelie's personal side for quite some time. I know I know that everything that she says is not true, but there is a plenty enough that I've heard to confirm my suspicions. Is that right? Why? Well, I still think if you were to talk to Adelaide now. Just because you've twisted her mind. 
or made her I think one thing or another. I eye. know, I know, you're going to protest everything I say, but just because she's changed her mind today about something that you did that is illegal uh, a week ago doesn't mean that the thing that you did illegal a week ago is no longer illegal. It's still illegal and you're still being charged for it. And we're still going to have an, our eye on you for the things that you're doing in this crossing, sir. Well, I understand that, Plenty, Deputy. Like I said, of course, charge me, because you have to. You have no other choice, right? I want to charge you for kidnapping, assault and battery, and fleeing and eluding. And I will be charging you for all three of those things. Well, I will oh, well, the, uh, rest kindly of the accept your sentence you've given me. Is there someone out there you love, Deputy? Uh, my personal life doesn't come uh, into these not walls. Accounted for. Hey, right, you can't right. keep the doctor in there! Mason fucking Kramer. Son of a bitch. Aye, we can and we will. Alright? Okay. He's got some time to serve in here and then he'll be released. Okay. You remember Sorry. what happened Sorry. here in Valentine a week ago? And he's Maybe. in trouble for that? Aye, no. he's in trouble for that too. What's, what's oh, but uh, it, it was me, remember? Aye, and it was also him. Well, maybe you don't want to tell me about your personal life. But if there is someone out there you care for deeply, I'm sure you'd be willing to do anything to get them back, like I would. If the people that I cared for deeply no, wonder, lo, no longer wanted to be with me, I would respect that decision. I wouldn't go kidnapping him that to bring him back. That is not the case. All right, sir. I know you keep saying that. You will see. You will see, deputy. How will I see, sir? By who? When you're invited to the wedding. When, where, from? Rose to yep. meet you. And I got kidnapped. Wait, By you her. got kidnapped? Wait, you were you were the yeah. you were the fucking fuck that you got in a wagon, yeah? No, 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 no one saw this happen. No one. Mine heading. Oh, this, it was awful. It um, was oh, okay. Start writing the paperwork. Who, who was on it? it? All right, I'm gonna get you sentenced here. Give me a moment. And do time, you will see. <laughs> All right, deputy. Could you at least tell me your name? Deputy Mitchell. Oh, should be easy. Uh, well, or what are you working on at the moment? Um, I'm putting in my uh, information in regards to uh, who did the shooting. All right. Once you've done that, could you uh, tally up the vigilantism and assault of deadly and then put out wanted for the people that we think it is? Yep. Right. We're very you certain heard, You heard the lady? I'm doing this. Vigilantism and assault is, of the deadly. There... Well, it, all you have to do is copy it over. You know, if they're not yeah, really no, wanted. It's but really... if he's, uh, but the, yeah, but what I'm saying, if he's not doing anything while well, I'm doing this. So, well, you, so you both can of work it... on the same document at the same time. I'm sorry, what's that no. name? What? The people we think it is is scouting them. Is... No, okay. I, I've I'm been just, informed. I'm we know who it is. No. Sorry about that. We're dealing with several different situations at once, as well as trying to go after the people who attacked you. Yes, and you know their names, don't you? Well, so, but you're welcome to give me the names that you know right now. Well, the only ones I know, for certain, were Speedy and Scout. There was another man there, with quite the mouth on him, talked very, very quickly. 
but I do not see his face. All right. Thank you. All right, 10.45. Yes, I... 30 minutes time served off 70. I hope you'll catch them. We will be doing our best. All right, you've got 30 minutes time served with us here. Uh, you're being, any... you're under arrest today for kidnapping, fleeing, eluding, and cell. assault and battery. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I would like you to come out from behind the damn door, yeah. I'm trying to, but you're... So, I, I said Kramer. you'll be getting a $106 fine, as well as 70 days, which is being reduced to 30 days, which you'll be serving here in the cell. All right. I understand, Deputy Mitchell. Will I be getting my knife back as well? Is it important to you? Yes, it... It is important to me. Why so? How so? I've been... Carrying it for quite a long Wait. time. And, and I've done quite a lot of work with it. A lot of work with it? Yes. Saving lives. There are as many things a knife can do. Besides hurt people. You push through your paperwork. Generally speaking, Mr. Tyne, when people are arrested for violent crimes, we confiscate any sort of weapon they may have. Yes? So what is my good reasoning to be giving you this knife back? Because I'll be oh. very honest, I don't like the way you talk about it. It makes me want to go throw it in the melter right now. Well, that's the problem, you see. A lot of people don't like the way I talk about many things. I think that maybe... Just out of the kindness in your heart... You could return it to me? Sir, I have someone standing in front of me who very obviously... Very obviously kidnapped someone and he is saying that he did not kidnap someone even though he was here in the middle of town tying her up with a group of people and riding away as quickly as I could which is the very definition of kidnapping do you want to tell me just again why because, I should be giving you back the knife just because you refuse to understand Deputy Mitchell right so tell me that I refuse to understand again I don't think you're getting your knife back sir no I don't think so I see. Well. I guess I'll have to get me a new one then. I suppose you will. Yeah. 
Well, what's scared about not giving him his knife back, guys? I don't want to hold on to it. Uh, do you remember all of the, the names of the individuals? Speedy, Emmett. Um, um, my Titan just told me who he knew to be there. Hang on. Okay. So the only ones I know for certain were Speedy and Scout. There was another man there with quite the mouth on him. He talked very quickly, but I did not see his face. So I'm guessing that must be Emmett. Possibly. Uh, any description of the lady at all, or...? They didn't say anything about Elidi. Or, or are you talking about Adelie? Um, when I rode up to them, the lady didn't seem in any distress. No, they were taking Adelie away from them. So they came up... Okay. Dr. Tyne here about a week ago, he kidnapped Adelie. Him and Hugo kidnapped Adelie from oh, here in town. Okay. Okay. Us searched the entire crossing for about four hours and we found Adelie and Hugo up at that lab and and Roanoke uh, afraid to leave saying that Tyne had just gone to bed and that they were they were basically being kept captive up there. We brought them into town, we charged Hugo, we let Adelie go. Tyne said that he, she said that Tyne was trying to force her to marry him and now he's saying that they were supposed to have a wedding today uh, and it looks like Speedy and the other two went to try and stop that from happening. Because I'm assuming that he kidnapped her again, but we haven't heard anything about that, so I can't charge him for kidnapping again. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, so she wasn't in distress. It was more... She was going with them for safety reasons. Maybe. I most likely. She she runs with her group. Speedy as with Tommy Two Snakes and Adelie as like boyfriend, girlfriend mm. with him. With with uh Two Snakes. You don't find him interesting, Jinji? Yeah, so the total charges vigilantism and assault with a deadly weapon. I I think that's all that we can press on that right now. But that's why I put it on there, so. Oh yeah, but that's just character, right? Like, I don't OOC find it annoying. Um... But obviously, Saffron's like, okay, whatever. Are you going to at least give me my letters back? Aye, but first I need to transcribe them. I've done other wanted and I've updated the list. Okay, uh, Sorry, say that it's, 
I've done every single one of their wanted and I've updated the wanted list. All right, thank you, Wally. I've done all of their wanted and updated the wanted list. Done. Before we get double reports. Uh, they're in a, they're in Blackwater. Who is? Tommy, Adelaide, and the rest of them. Okay. We can... Gonna head there. Well, how about you wait just a moment, and we can all go down there together, because he's not oh, gonna sure. be in here for too much longer. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, because he's totally not gonna fucking go there and try to get it before we do. Mm-hmm. I thought you said he was going to Sisica. No. I swear you said something like that. Thanks, Weller. That's okay. You can't hear me if I'm over here. Freaking Weller. I mean, that's essentially what he's doing. He's a... He's a a doctor who's got this sense of uh, nobility for what he's doing. That is not true, believe me. Kramer, do you need medical? Uh, no, I, I do not. I'm okay. okay I was right. already checked out, but thank you. Right, just making sure. It's the other guy named was something I, No one knows that I like, genuinely... You scared all everybody. Yeah. You all right there, sweetheart? No, I... No, I meant the, the I always play a snobby character. better than you character in D and D when I could go with it, so I appreciate the doctor. It's a pers personally guilty pleasure of mine. <laughs> I feel like almost everything he's saying is is a uh, threat. Are you so needing food or like water in there? Adelaide's in Blackwater. Is that right? Does it matter too much, sir? Oh, I think it matters a lot. Right. As I said, we're supposed to be getting married. I will speak to Adelaide personally, sir. If you keep going after her, you're going to keep getting hit with harassment and stalking charges. Harassment and stalking charges? Mm hmm I am sorry that... I know, I know. That I, so don't, that I don't understand. That I'm so confused. Deputy right, Mitchell. naturally. In time, you will see. I don't think so. I promise I will. I will help you see. Ha! Ah, there it is! Is that a threat, You will sir? see that I am not such a bad man. Oh, a threat? No. No, no, no threat to you. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a promise, not a threat. Is that, is that what I'm going to get hit with next? Because believe me, sir, I've heard it before. Oh, I'm sure you have from... All types of men, haven't you? 
No way. <laughs> but you will see in time that I'm not such a bad man. I can always hope that, sir, but unfortunately I don't believe that's the way it's going to work out. Well, I only think that you feel that way because of the way things have happened. And the way things, the way you're choosing to see things. Right, right. Because it is your choice, isn't it? Well, things are a choice, and I think that I'm choosing correctly here, sir. You might not like it, but I'm choosing correctly. Here, you can have these back. Oh, thank you. Uh, where'd Weller and Kramer go to? Uh, Kramer, I don't know. Weller went to go put in an update on what's happening around here. We might need to try and go down to Blackwater to arrest uh, Tommy, or not Tommy, but Speedy and stuff. I'd also like to okay. speak to Adelie. But... Alright, okay, then, uh, if we're going to be leaving, I need like two seconds. Alright. Take your two seconds. Sorry. Every supply. Are you still doing paperwork for this, Mitchell? Oh, this is going to take a lot of paperwork. Um, once Briar is ready, though, we can go. Okay. So, the only, how long is it? Uh, creepy dog man, how many? Uh, how many we days we don't. You got? It doesn't matter. We don't have to stay here for. Him. Nothing? No. Beautiful. In my time in solitude. This fella makes my fucking skin Much cold. better than hearing all these lies. Well, he's essentially making threats and stuff, but you know, it's the... the in time, you'll you'll understand. I'll, you I'll help you understand. No, I see him. No, right there. All there it you. is. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. Okay. This fella's suspected of doing human experimentation and stuff like that. Oh... Briar. So you, you know how we responded? Wait, what? What's happening? We responded to this fucking hanging thing, right? What you mean hanging? What are you talking about? So you know how I said the postal boys, right, had been kidnapped? Okay, aye, the, po the postal so, so boys. Me and Rick like... went and, and searched them, right? Uh, yes, okay. yes. We searched for them, and we saw Boom I've been the wagon there. And we asked them about if they had seen any postal boys or any people on wagons like, or anything like that. But we didn't know, right? The wagon was back Two in the ranch. Ago. They were and I right. Didn't have I anyone to go with this has been a bit fucked because there was a bit of lack of communication between Wait, us. But me and Rip scout about it? already rode out to uh, Emerald Ranch today and asked them about those boys because we responded to the tip and we didn't get any tips saying that anyone else responded to it. We found Boone out there. Uh, we just asked maybe they'd seen anything about the poster boys, maybe seen a wagon going past. And then uh, we went to Emerald Ranch, and there he was with a wagon. Um, we didn't inquire anymore. He seemed pretty, like... Edith, are you all right? You survived? Uh, yeah, I sure did. Oh, good to hear. Now, before you get in trouble, run along now. Okay. It's active. I, I already got the name before. I just was remem reminded. You will. 
will understand one day, deputy. I think I understand perfectly well right now. Mm. So smart, are we? Plenty smart enough for my job, sir. Yes. I I think I think he's cool, guys. You know. That delay was. Threats are fun. Going to have a beautiful red dress on. I can't wait to see her in it. Yeah, it's been it's been a long time. Yep, yeah, because that was the Hummel Bunch. That's when Danny Kerrigan was at the the manor down in Saint Denis. You really have no clue why Danny Kerrigan threw you out of the manor down in Saint Denis. Not the faintest idea. You, you can't figure it out. Even just a wee bit why Danny Kerrigan would throw you out or try and kill you for not leaving that manor. No, I don't. You see? Not even the Adelaide. faintest inkling, because you seem like you're a fairly smart man, sir. That you're able to look into things. But you're just going to say that oh, you have no idea, not the faintest idea. Really? Oh, I will tell you. I have an idea. What is your idea? Well, you see, Atelier had told me that the manor that she was staying at that I could stay there as well. And no one else had lived there. And it was going to be our home, right? Until the day came where Danny came along and said that Adelaide could stay, but I could not. We even tried talking, even working together. And for some reason, which I can't figure out why, and I would love to talk to Danny about, he didn't want me there. And he also didn't want me with Adelaide. Just like the men now, keeping Adelaide from me, and these men, the things I've heard about them, Almost getting a... Or murdering a woman, right? Dolly Dixon. Having Adelaide sent to prison. Alright, let's go. Stood around long enough. And then this... Danny shows up at my home. And tries to kill me. After I leave. Oh, and, here comes. and wait, let me... Just one second. Don't let me forget. Mm -hmm. It has been quite a while. Before this, before... Us leaving. When I was in the house alone, Danny tried to have me killed then as well. And that's when I reported everything to the law. McKenna... So, maybe that's why he found me, because he tried to kill me and didn't quite get the job done. So he came back for me again. All right. Well, I'll be looking into that as well. For now, though, I'll have to leave. The guards will release you. Okay. All right, I I'm coming. <clears throat> Let's go. Hmm. 
No, it's great. The back and forth is really cool, and he's he's saying a lot of stuff, which is is really cool. We'll do a one, two, two. And he plays Jed too. Yeah, go give him some love if he's streaming, guys. Maybe taking the left off road here. Right. Taking the left off road. Off road. Watch yourself coming down here. The way it's the grandmother's house, we go. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't get it. That's a wee ditty. <laughs> I don't get it. Horses rest. Not into the rock, Weller. Howdy. Is that you, Dr. Smith? Can I help you guys? Or would you like to uh, yeah. start looking Better. for him? Ask Dr. Smith. Probably the sling. Yeah, I'm going to the sling. Stick and sad. Okay. Sheriff Cash, aye. How's everybody doing? Oh, I don't think I've seen you ever wear anything but your gold. Well, you've seen Speedy on time. 
Speedy? No, I haven't, but I haven't been here long. Um, we could ask Delphi and the other folks. Hi. I have just woke up myself. Well, we had hours, so of, hours of silence and then everything happened at once. Everything? What you mean? Summers shot down a group of women out near uh, Sandy. And then but you had six had to a fire on. Multiple groups getting kidnapped and shot up all at the same no, time immediately afterwards me. by different groups. No, okay. So what are y'all doing now? Well, Speedy and two others shot up Dr. Tyne <laughs> and two <laughs> others at the top <laughs> of Valentine. We were dealing with Dr. Tyne because they kidnapped Adelie a week ago. And we heard that they make down here. Uh, well, we are being looked at uh, by someone in the saloon, I believe, through binoculars. All right, well, let's go say hello. Uh, I might be wrong, but it looks like an oddly... It looks like Adelie is in there. Yeah. Adelie? Is it safe here? But I'd like to speak with you. Oh. You'd like to speak with Adelie? Oh, well that's what we thought. That's why we wrote to you. I you, was you wrote to me. Well, I'm sorry, I've been very busy for the last few hours. Mm. What's, well, what's been going on? Just one moment. Miss, can you come here? Speedy. Come here. Come down to the sheriff's office with can us, please. Can you come here real quick? Can you come here? Why? What's going on? There's some fuckers. I'm pretty sure they were trying to take me as a hostage down by the docks. All right. Well, we also need to talk to you so we can keep that from happening. All right. He, Speedy can't go with you. Why not? Why? Because he's protecting me. All right. You can come <laughs> down to the office too now, and right? we can speak with you, Adelie. You're not in trouble, but I do want to speak to you about what happened today with Dr. Tyne. All right. Alright, yeah, let's go. Be right back. Alright. Is Emmett around? Um, he's somewhere. Hey, Emmett, how you doing? Perfect. Emmett needs to come too. Yeah, I know. What I do? Come on. Alright, can I get some whiskey? You wanna yeah, start walking? Right. Okay. You'll need it. What happened? Oh, I'm gonna play poker. Alright. Uh, you're Saffron? Hi. Yeah, Hi. How's it going? Not too great, in all honesty. Yeah, we'll talk yeah. about when we get to the office. I get that vibe. Your voice doesn't sound too chipper. Who's this behind me? Name's Deputy Bra. Huh? Briar. Briar? Yeah. Like a briar patch? Yeah. Okay. Are you new? Uh, been around here for at least two months, if oh, not Oh, damn. More. Well, I've never met you. Hi. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Speedy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Speedy. Yeah. Pleasure. You guys got a coat rack in there? Yep. Right. I'm sure we can take right. a jacket. Yeah, I'm going to put my coat up. I'm going to be searching you before we get inside the door. All right. Hands up, please. There you go. Speedy? Yeah. All right, you can come inside. All right. Where's this coat rack? There's no coat rack. Well, right. either. we're yeah. going to the cell. Oh. So. Why are we going to the cell? Because I need to talk to you about things that are Can't likely going to end okay. you remaining in the cell. Okay. <laughs> All right. I haven't done anything. Okay. Why can't we just talk outside of it? You didn't tell me I was arrested. Well, you want to tell me what happened? Where have you been last uh, yeah, couple sure. hours? Sure. Uh, I woke up in Valentine. I saw my friend Scout. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we heard that Adelaide had been seen by Danny and that she was going to get married today. We had been looking for her for like a month now. I thought she was dead. Um, we didn't have any information on where she was. So we've already looked for her for fucking ever in the law house too. So we wrote her, tried to contact her, didn't happen. And we went down to uh, Dewberry Creek. You know that that shine location? You know what I'm um, talking about between Roach and uh, Roach and Flatneck? Are you, okay, the, the creek, are you talking about the old mill there? Are you talking about the Yeah, stables? yeah, yeah. The, the mill. We went there, had some drinks. Okay. Um, I met up you. with yep, go to Emmett. Right, told him to meet us there. Uh, and from there, me. Uh, we told know. Adelaide to get Sorry. there, and she showed yeah. up. Thank you. Oh. Now, if you don't mind, Sarah, reason, I'm in here. Patient, one moment, I'll be so, right back. Adelie right. came there and just showed up. Yeah, she was all cut up. Mm -hmm. right. Said some people saved her. All right, I'm gonna go talk to Emma over here. Yeah, go for it. Have a word real quick. Sure. When I'm actually, uh, okay. I. Uh, so they're like absolutely oh, getting charged, right, dude? Well, yeah, uh, well, on, we need like to, me. we Scout, need to... where do you want to go? Uh, give me one moment. We need to talk to each of them separately and ask them how, what, about their day, their alibi. Oh. Separately. Okay, well, let's put Scout in with, uh, Speedy, shall we? Mm, he needs to be spoken to separately away from Speedy right now. Okay. As soon as possible. All right. Can I uh, lay in the just, bed? Just no. real quick. Take, I just more put your hands that, up for me. take more than that um, corner. Saffron. Aye, aye, what? You know, we have a, a witness. Who's the witness? Uh, it's oh, sure. right. Come over. I'll, I'll tell you when we're not I'm in the middle of the situation. Sure, sure, very sure. Well trusted. But I, I know we need to get the information uh, together. Uh, I, uh, uh, so that's what I'm just trying to speak do my due diligence with that. Yeah, correct. Because okay. right now the witness is, is time. Yeah. And no, okay. it's a completely separate witness. All right. Okay. Someone... Do I need to speak to him outside, or where do I need to take him? Just, just oh. get him to be quiet in the corner and speak to him in the corner. Should be fine. Okay. Uh, just get his his statement about I okay. what they've done to me. Uh, just we need to make sure that I can't okay. be overheard. All right. Sorry, Mister Amen. No, I know, I know. So, we can yeah, stop outside. So we have we have a witness placing them all there. They shot first. Okay, I I if you remember wish you for me to tell you the witness. Uh, one second, one second. Want to step. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, Danny. He was watching them through binoculars. It happened just outside of Valentine. Already and Cumberland Speedy, Forest. And Speedy did say that uh, he, he, we heard from my friend Danny that Adelie was around and was going to get married today. So that correct. that ties it all together. He okay. he ID'd them all and said that they actually shot first as well. All right, well that's enough for me then. I, they're yeah, all absolutely. definitely getting charged. <laughs> they're all, mm -hmm. Yeah, right, but it's maybe. good. It's still good to get the statements, and we'll put that all together. Oh. Yeah, I probably would have been a bit more open to that if it wasn't Scout who has uh, severe hatred towards me, and it probably would have uh, brought in some kind of inclination of him to uh, either lie or just dance around the fact of whatever actually happened. But that's what I mean. The I mean, how these folks murdered someone and didn't tell us anything. My, and, my. Uh, anything to do with Thine is probably going to be. The exact same story, but right. yeah. Well, I mean, if you want, let's go in there. Let's question them, see what they tell us, and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Nope. Either way, but yeah, that 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 witness is very much trusted. Any uh, questions in particular, or just generally, what 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 have they done today? Because uh, here's what I got from Speedy right now. Okay. Speedy says, I woke on Valentine. I saw my friend Scout. We heard from my friend Danny that Adelie was going to get married today. We've been searching for her for months and so we want to reach out to her. We reached out to try and contact her. Uh, didn't hear from her. Went down to Dewberry Creek, the old mill. We went there and had some drinks and met up with Emmett. We told Adelie to come there and she showed up. That's pretty much their entire day. Which, I mean, he's already got some contradictions in that statement as it is. But, uh, you know. All right. Um, I can talk with uh, Scout if, if you'd want. Sure. Uh, I, well, I think Briar might be speak. Briar speaking with someone. But I, uh, I'll talk to Emmett. I'm. I'm gonna talk to Adelie. All right. So uh, go. Ahead, you all go ahead and split and talk, and I'll chat with him. Or with her. I, I don't. Uh, my hobby is right. uh, justice. Adelie, could you come across Your hobby the street and talk is to me? Just... Oh. Thank you.
deputy. I was making small talk and he just seemed like he didn't want to talk to me. What's up with that? Uh, I'm not sure, Emily. It's rude. I was being nice. Okay, well, I'm talking to you now. All right, Emily, can you tell me what's been happening lately? What happened when I rescued you from Dr. Tyne? Oh, I was okay for maybe a couple days. And he, he found me again. Willer wants to know if you got a statement finalized. What it, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, speedies. He can talk to Speedy again if he wants to. I don't care. Okay. Uh, alright, and then he found you again. What happened when he found mm -hmm. you again, Adelie? Well, we, uh, he didn't want to let me go this time. And, and he hurt me a little bit, but I'm okay now. And how, there was Hugo. How, how, wait, how did he hurt you? I just don't want to get him in trouble. He's... He... Adelie, this man's kidnapping huh? you and hurting you. Uh, How did know, he hurt I... you? How did he hurt you, Adelie? He, he, he sliced me up with a knife. Said I was going to be his, his wife. And Hugo was there and he hired a man named Clayton. And he took me to a cabin in Window Widow, Widow Rock. You know, I was there for days. And, and then the summer's gang came and I, I wanted to tell them so badly I needed help, but I didn't. And they was convincing me too that Tommy don't care about me. And then this this group of men they came and they rescued me, dropped me off in Blackwater, and what, that's so, when okay, I told. Okay, slow so what group of men came and rescued you? I don't know. I've never seen them before. Okay, where were you, never... Where were you when you were, were rescued? I I was um on my way. We were on our way to San Denis, but we were way up north. And. I'd never seen it. it was three of them. They were all in their their faces were covered. And they didn't they didn't say much, but they they were nice. They They wouldn't tell me their names. I never met them before and they could see something was wrong, so they saved me. And uh, they asked me where I wanted to go. I said Blackwater cuz that's where we were closer to. Okay. And that's when my sweet Tommy and, and Speedy, Stripes, and Scout, they okay. came to me. They, so, were, they were so, so worried. So, Adelie, it sounds like you're talking about two different events. What happened today, to you today, when you were with Dr. Tyne today? Cause they I got shot what, up. They got shot up by who? Mm -hmm. the, the group of men I'm talking about. Okay, so the, the mysterious group. Okay, Adelie. You're yes. lying to me now. What? You know exactly who those three men are. I know exactly who I those don't. three men are. Yeah, you do, Adelie. Okay, I'm doing everything in my power to help you. But protecting your friends from vigilantes and assault charges, that's not going to do anyone any good. They weren't. Well, I think that they were, because we've got witnesses. Multiple witnesses. What? Right. <coughs> Clayton was aiming his gun. He was going to kill them. He was going to kill me. It was self-defense. And that's the truth. They still sought out you and Tyne and Clayton and Hugo to find you and still go into law. That is vigilantism. No, it's they, not. Yes, it is. That is... That is the definition they of They didn't get me. The group of men did. 
I said they. I didn't say names of who went out, but you're you're acting like it's the people here in town that you know that I'm... It's not! Uh-huh. Well, it's alright. I already have witnesses, Adelie. I don't need your confession in that regard. But just know that it's not very good to try and lie to the people who are trying to help you out. Okay? But you're not! You're hurting the people who care about me! I'm not hurting anyone, Adelie. I just spent several hours dealing with Dr. Tyne. Is he okay? He's fine, but why do you care, Natalie? He's hurting you. You said by your own words that he cut you up with a knife. Do you have scars to prove that? I do. Can you show me? They're a couple days old. Now why are you wanting to protect someone who is actively hurting you? Who's kidnapping you and trying to force you to marry them, Adelie? I'm Didn't not, we already speak just, to this? Uh, speak about this. Yes, I'm not. I just don't want my friends to be in trouble. Okay, I know you don't want that, but Please. the fact is your friends have done something wrong. Okay. No, they haven't. Yes, they have. That is how the law they, works, Adelie. They accidentally came across me. No. And they were defending themselves and me. That, that's not the way it works, Adelie. You know that. It is. You weren't there. I know enough and I have enough witnesses to know. Alright? Adelie. Why are you, Adelie, listen. Why are you ruining listen, can, our lives? Can, can you listen to me, Adelie? But none of you, none of you reported that Tyne had taken you a gun. Right? How, how was I how supposed to? They didn't report anything when they got you back. Adelie, how am I supposed to do anything? I did! How am I supposed to help you out? Okay, so you're saying that Tyne has kidnapped you again, eh? And he's hurt you, eh? They didn't hurt him. I said Tyne said... hurt you. I said Tyne hurt what? you. You said that he did, eh? Yes. That he sliced you up with a knife and said that you were going to be his wife. Yes. Okay, if I'd known that, I could have sent him to Sissica today. And he would not have been able to come after you. He's looking for you now, Adelie. He's convinced that you want to be with him, that he's just trying to make you understand. So I need you to be very clear with me. Do you want to be with Dr. Tyne? No, okay. I'm happy with, I'm happy with Tommy. It's just he he drugs me up when I'm with him, and I, people get mad at me thinking I want to be with him, and I don't. We don't have the charges for this. What the kidnapping? I would I, say torture, wouldn't it? Uh, no, it's there's definitely going to be torture and stuff. I've got to uh, put more of this together. It's just. Let, let my family go. I can't do that, Adley. Yes, you can. No, I can't. I can't. They will be let go in time, but they've got to serve time for vigilantism. No. Other charges. Yes, they do. They didn't hurt them. They, they just... They just came to Blackwater Adelie, to get me. I've been spending the last couple of hours dealing with the situation. I assure you that I know probably more than you even do about it. Just don't have to be so hard on them. They're finally doing something good. And you're punishing them for it. If they were doing something good about it, Adelie, they would have been letting the law know instead of going up there and go shooting people themselves and stabbing people. But they didn't. But they did. We have witnesses, eyewitnesses, who are able to identify everyone who saw it No, all you happen. don't. Yes, we do. No one was there. That's what you think, Adelie. You're lying. I'm not lying. Do you need Emmett Stein? more well we'll get all the statements together on the the document okay in, in a moment it was just oh, i'm trying to figure out how to put all this together in paperwork no, i understand a lot of statements i understand and i love being told that i'm ruining people's lives when i'm trying to save one Didn't sound like that conversation went too well. Do you want me to go give it a crack? 
No, uh, Briar's out there already. No, I Briar's oh. out there. It's just she's just mad that we've got to charge these fellas with vigilantism for rescue in there. Hell yeah. That's, that's essentially what it is. Oh, I thought you were asking. I mean, I felt completely off. Like, to be honest, so right Scout right came up to me mm -hmm. about the time that Summers probably was getting in the shootout with all of that. I like Hi. the room. We had to put it, prioritize that over going out the window route. Let's see. I'll do it. No, but it's still vigilantism for them to go hunting them down. Oh, it is. And shooting Absolutely. them up and, and, and everything. I got Absolutely. told by the witness that they shot first as well. No, yeah, I'm, so. I'm sure that that's the case. I'm, I'm sure that that's the case. Uh, they only get char uh, a, 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 a vigilantism and assault with a deadly. And then I've got to go in and get more. <sighs> I'm not sure how we can do this for time because he's doing everything that I was expecting to. He thinks that Adelaide truly loves him and that he just has to help her see she doesn't want to be with him. He keeps kidnapping her and now she's saying that he's hurting her. She's got cuts on her arms to, to prove it. Yeah, I'd say just rope around the neck, kick the bucket out. You know that we can't just do that. <laughs> In a perfect world, right? That goes like that. Alright, I'm gonna um, aim if someone wants to take speedy. Alright, do you have the charges all set for them? Uh, yeah. Whoever does the, uh, arrest uh, needs to add on the total charges bit. But the other charges are below an instant charge. So just knock off uh, 20 days, probably? Well, we can knock yeah, off 20 and, and take them to SIS, okay? Cause this is this is violent crimes. They 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 really should go to Cisco for this. Whether we transport him, have him taken. Mm. Uh, is someone working Fair. on Fair. Nope, that's you. Right. I need a moment to sit down. If you can all yeah, continue working on too. that. Okay. I'm so thirsty. I'm dying. Okay. Sorry, I had to turn on my fan. I got hot in here. Sorry if you guys hear frogs and crickets and the fan and cars. All right, where'd everyone go? I have no idea. I've been face deep okay. in this report right. that okay. everyone keeps asking me about. Okay. <laughs> I sent a telegram to Anon saying that I was here by myself. So I was where'd, like, oh, it's a party. Where'd Weller and everyone go? They're trying to find Looking you. for you. I literally. Oh, no, 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 no. They went for uh, Briar. Briar. Okay. <laughs> went looking for Briar. Or like, I've been sitting down right there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Can, can one of you run back to the telegram station, uh, Claymore, can you run back to the telegram station and provide a list of who's here in Blackwater? Because apparently Thor and everyone, they're looking, they're searching for on duty. Deputies, they don't Ortega? know we're here. Uh, then I That's can? Deputy Marshal. Where? Right there. Oh, right there. Aye, that is. Aye, aye, so who do we have here? Brian, Rip, Mitchell. Weller, Ortega, Weller, Cash. Ortega, Cash. Okay. And Kramer. We're about to have uh, two more deputies and a uh, cadet coming over here. They're trying to find us, supposedly. 
that's why I asked someone to go send a telegram updating everyone who's here so that they're not confused. Right. Alright, do we have all the paperwork done for everyone? Yep. Can we do transport? Yep. Do, are we just on there for free, right? Hello. What's going on, Philly? So, you're going to the penitentiary. Alright. Um, what the fuck? Know, yeah, right. it sucks that you, know, you couldn't be honest with us. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Alright. These get things my... happen. What are you getting us for? Uh, Thank goodness for sure. Vigilantism you and assault the deadly for the attack on Tyne, Hugo, and uh, what's his name? Clayton. Yeah, I think they're bluffing, PD. That's all right. They ain't got shit. Come on now. <laughs> Emmett, they're going to let us walk away as soon as we got out that door. They're dumb as hell. That's all right. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> and what what are our charges uh, here? Yeah, I Vigilante just told you. Vigilantism. I know. I'm, I'm saying numbers wise, but come on. Uh, it's a total of 95 days, and I can't even remember the fine because the paper's not right in front of my nose. I thought that we, I thought you had to have uh, 100 so days to go to Sisica. Nope. $80, right? And, uh, and any so violent crime can be transported to Sisica. So we are taking you to Sisica. Aww. That well, seems we've been rather here directed. Already. Sorry? Well, see, the worst thing is, right, uh, you know, uh, you, you folks committed a violent crime, uh, didn't tell us. Now I've got absolutely no inclination to give any of you your guns back. Yeah, okay, pretty. well, you can, you can do that all you want, man. But, like, <laughs> you, you think that this is... You, you think we'd be... Uh, we're flipping about this, man, because uh, you're just proving to us again that, I mean, you're not doing proper investigation work. I mean, you, you know, your boy told me that there was uh, fucking, what, six people out near Emerald? And they were masked up? You think that that's not who fucking did it? Uh, no, because we have eyewitnesses who saw you do it. So, ah, you always correct. do. You always got eyewitnesses. Did you just say there's always someone watching? There is. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That person probably did lie to you because we're not lying. But hey, well, again, I, mean, you I, never I don't, trust I don't think that this person would have good reason to lie. Oh, yeah? Well, here's the thing. I'd like to face my accuser and you will never right? tell me it, will you? Well, no, I oh, won't. Because no. <laughs> yeah, then so... you'll go kill them. Oh, you is... think so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm really a fucking murderer, aren't I? Oh, come on, Danny. He used to run good with man. the summer's game. Yeah, and guess how many murder charges I got off that? Zero. Yeah, let's not talk about murder, Spady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wheeler knows all about, talk about it. about witness and murder. Listen, man, else. you think that I have a great reputation because of all that time? You think people don't oh, lie about me all the time? The river. The river has been involved cried, with you Kellen fucker. Dolly? <sighs> no, I wasn't. And you know damn well no. I don't, and you're poking a fucking bear. I'm not poking anything. You are. Cases. I'm not poking yeah. anything. I'm sick of being lied to. Um, yeah, and I'm sick of your accusations, all right? all right? You think you do your job well, but you fucking don't. If you would have done your job well, maybe that girl wouldn't have been fucking kidnapped, all right? I'm not here to fucking chastise you. <laughs> you're, you're oh, wait, are you talking about Adelie? Yeah. Oh, okay, because you know, I, you know, I yeah, only spent days scouring the cross and to find her yeah, and find her likewise. and released her. Yeah, likewise. I know, I'm and so there's the admission right there, finally. No, that I skirt. What Fuck are you, you talking about? I scoured for yeah, fucking right. days in the desert. Get off. Look, I don't want to hear it, all of you. I, yeah, I know you don't want to hear it. Because you're not a good lawman. Boys, I said it's right, something speedy. that I don't know no, what I'm talking about. I understand. You don't give a fuck about your job or due diligence. It's fine. No, I, I care about keeping pieces of shit like you mm -hmm. away from innocent fuck. Yeah, all right. So the kidnappers, are they going to Sisica, huh? I don't know. Why don't I ask Scout who lured her up there with the telegram? Why don't I ask you who dressed up in all black with Tommy and Adelaide and stabbed her to death when she got up there? Who are you fucking even talking about? Go ahead and I'm turn talking around. about you, Speedy. Yeah, who are who are you talking about? Your Savage? friends that you keep company were so quick to throw you under the wagon. It must suck. To when know are you that, talking that about? That you really got no one. When are you right. talking about? You, the stretch I'm about here Dolly. is just incredible. Okay, well, yet again. All right, Heaven sorry if you got to your feet. Wasn't yeah, involved. Coffee, we're going to be taking out. I know out. you haven't. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of deputies, right, who don't see all the angles, who don't have all the information, and it must suck. But you know, did, typically. Tommy did. Typically, I whenever you it. think you have all the angles, that's just the ignorance that you don't have. I understand that. I keep keep telling us that we just don't know how Saffron, to do it. You, you're not existing to me right now, right? You fucking are accusing me of so much more than is uh, even feasible. It's it's hilarious. Okay. It's it's, it's quite feasible to me. Okay, you know what's quite feasible is that you're a bad llama. Look at that. Boom. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I bet hey, I have a, actually I have a question real quick. Mm. If I do and sell them out, fucking terrible criminal. I'll go get the wagon. <laughs> Um, hey, well, more. I do have a question. Okay, though. perfect. What's that? Thank you. Uh, if I do sell them out, can I carry a box to prison? A can box? I have a box? No. Uh, I mean, nah, probably not. Maybe Why not? Like a small cabinet? 
No, no, I want, I want that box. Come on, let me bring a box to Cisco. Uh, let me have a look. Well, we've got a marshal right here to ask about. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a treasure map. Yeah, no, I am not explaining to Big L why I let a fucking prisoner bring a box into the system. Come on. All right, yeah, no, there I, we have it. <laughs> I, I enjoy having my, my head on my shoulders. Oh, my yeah, God. Generally yeah, speaking, we, 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 we go to Paris to St. Denis. Can't we get on a boat here? Come on, boat plan, best plan. We'll take a boat from St. Denis. No, not from well. here. I want a naval nope. excursion. Wagon's already out here. Come on, all three of you. you don't have to hit our okay, the, I, I do have a question, though. If we are, if we are vindicated... If we are vindicated, will we be recompensated for this? No. Well, you won't be because we're <laughs> no. we're short of our evidence. Oh. All right, great. Is Speedy on about a boat again? Uh huh. You guys. Yeah, yeah. Be. I don't know how you guys live as long as you do as Just being such bad lum, and I I really don't get it. <laughs> Speedy, I don't want to hear. No, 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 man. Right I mean, I get my gun, my knife back. You just, you, you, you know, you're gonna right. be fucking. We got the three of you. Life, so. uh, yeah, no, on, oh wait, do I not have to go? Nah, I mean, whatever, man. I would love for you to go instead of me. I've been dealing with. I, I have a lot of paperwork to catch up on. No, it's fine. I'll hit. Okay, I'll thank you. Twice. Yeah, not really a choice. Weller, are yeah. you good to go with him? Uh, negative. No. One, one sec. Can you go with them, so they uh, yeah. Do we have all the charges and stuff ready to be charged? I believe. Hey, one. Because I don't know anything about it. Well, well it's so all their paperwork ready. Report. No, not Tommy. Pay me fucking four grand. I kind of hear. Does is the paperwork all ready for the people who are to take them? Yes. Okay. They all have reports. All you need to do is take off the time from the transport. What do you think? That's it. I wouldn't take off more than. 30. Down. How fucking you can, are you still alive? You How is Summers not fucking ride? busting down the door to drag you through Speedy the water? Me about Summers. I'm sure they are. Yeah. You better watch your back, man. He's talked about you for years. Okay. Hmm. I might be Riley? able to find you four grain. Come hey. and find me later. Riley. Riley. I've already offered that to Marty, baby. I wouldn't take Don't off more know. than 30 minutes. Hell, I mean, you should probably fucking take me off this carriage. because uh. Once you get there? This, this shit right here is not helping yep. your case. I wouldn't take off more than 30 minutes from their time. That's all. Okay. What are we all doing? I mean, I'm, I'm just making sure they. I'm sure you understand okay. what vigilante charges are. Uh, I mean, okay. You're going. I'm getting right. more than vigilante, yeah, okay. man. <clears throat> Thank you. Especially because I wasn't heard at all about the feasibility of this case here. <laughs> I understand that you know the game, Mr. Cash. You know the the end goal of this world between us. I know what you want. Is this wagon busted or something? Or? No, nope, it's yeah. ready to go. Okay. We're just making sure yeah, we have musical chairs. Mm -hmm. Look, Speedy, you come find me later, all right? All right? Yeah, maybe when are you I will. getting out? I don't know. It's gonna be a while. All right, who else is? Good? Wait, I think you've Tommy? got you've got three. You got three. Oh, no. You've got three. You're good. Mm -hmm. Repeat that, sorry. You have three. You're good. Sorry. Go on. Yep. Oh. Oh yeah. Only got three. Doesn't matter who. Unbelievable. Y'all are cruel, and don't you ever ask me about summers. It's quite fun. I, I'll, I'll keep in mind how cruel I am, Adelaide, when I'm searching the entire cross in 40 for four or five hours an end. No, they didn't confirm that Tyne's men shot first. It was that Speedy's men shot first. <laughs> Donnerberg. I think I need to maybe an investigation is better than a dossier for this. Is my team speak still working. Hey, 
they sent them away. Vigilanteism. Get on Up until this point, right, they had uh, tried to protest innocence. They had nothing to do with it. Yeah, like that matters none. You already locked um, them away. Well, you, Thank if you. If you hear anything it. else from Tyne, please let me know. I'm going to be investigating Oh, really? Him. We should let you know? Because we let you know for about a week and she's been missing. And now you're going to arrest the only what man What do you mean for up? about a, w a week? About a week ago, he kidnapped her. I scared the cross and finally found her. That's what you said, yeah. So I'm not quite sure why you're jabbing at me. I am so not a soul breathed the word that she had been kidnapped to us. Not a soul. I had no idea that she'd been kidnapped because no one told me. Yeah, well, y'all knew. Y'all knew. No, we did not know. I saw, I saw droves of y'all looking for her one time. Aye, a week ago. So, so far, Mitchell got a perfect track record. You told her that she was missing, she found her. Uh, no, that, I never told no, anybody no, anything because I didn't know didn't what the hell's been going on. No, he was in Sisica at the moment, at, at right, that well, time. Regardless, she you, was you witness being kidnapped out, so you're, you're, out you're, of Valentine. You're taking those bars up to Sisica for vigilanteism. Aye. So with a deadly. Unbelievable. <laughs> what a joke. Y'all are going to get some reckoning real soon. Mark my fucking words. Sure is. I love wearing a badge. Why, why? Warm hey, did you hear? Why, why do so, I help these people? If I'm just, I'm gonna get a reckoning because <laughs> oh, I'm Jesus helping Christ. them. Okay, so part of what he said is <laughs> All true. they had to do did, was admit to it, and I probably sorry, would have knocked down the assault with a deadly. She did get kidnapped a second time, and they did tell us, and someone fucked up the paperwork because the incident report is not there. I mean, there was a night where we were searching for quite a while. I, that was on the was 25th very of May. Late. That was the 25th of May. Wait, that was wait, the second time wait. we've been searching for her? That was no. Dusk and Kerrigan, wasn't it? Aye, up in Dusk the, and Kerrigan. Lab? Aye, oh. exactly. Oh. Uh, so, so we like found there's... him twice? Yes. So what the fuck happened? It's... Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. Okay. Well, I probably wouldn't have knocked down that assault with a deadly charge if any of them had had a Shadley not been such a fucking coward and tried to deny it all. I mean, hell, yeah. they could have walked in here and said, uh, yeah, I shot Ty because he kidnapped Adelaide. I'd have been like, you know what? I, I would have been fine with beginning charge. to cut some things down, but they they weren't going to work with us all. I've got to be fucking pussies about it. <sighs> God damn it. All right, I'm going to sit down and have something to eat. I'm gonna Enjoy. try and get an investigation going on time because he's gonna keep on doing this, but I... <sighs> there's just gonna be continued violence between those groups, and I don't know what to do about it. It's just gonna just happen. Sort it out. They kill each other. Oh, well, well, I will say that <laughs> this arrest that we did, we'll at least make them pause, knowing that Aye. we will arrest them even when they think they're doing the right thing. Aye, it's true. Hey, and. All y'all, you know, seem to get a little bit worked up there, I have to say. So, uh, do what you need to do to, uh, take a break, take a walk, grab a whiskey, and realize that what those folks say don't matter one bit. Y'all did a good job. You did your job. You did what you had to do. Yeah, There's I'm no just, need I'm, to... I'm just trying to figure out what to do with, with this Tyne stuff, because he a... said a lot of stuff. And, but, but everything went from when he was active before is from last year and we don't have access to any of the paperwork from last year he said a lot about deputy mckenna who i don't can is that fella even around anymore i've never heard yeah, of a he deputy came back McKenna. yesterday he came back yesterday quite literally yeah he's saying that he said a bunch to deputy mckenna about danny kerrigan trying to kill him multiple times and a bunch of other stuff but from even before then Adelaide had been t telling me stuff that made it sound like Tyne was going around kidnapping people for experiments but I, that was long before I was law so I didn't kind of thought if there's any truth to that there's any instances of people doing stuff like that Tyne hinted very heavily to me while he was in the cells up there that he wants to do what is necessary so that people can you know he can advance medicine and all that and stuff like that and it was very much Edging on that threatening towards experimenting on people. Uh, from my memory, Tyne is not a good man, but I mm -hmm. don't recall what his charges were. 
Now, the, uh, well, that's just the thing. It's like I can't even look it up in the paperwork because it's all it's everything from before oh, yeah, the, one's been The removed. fire. Yeah. I, I do have to ask. The fire. <laughs> uh, Speedy did not get charged with murder of Dolly Dixon, and he has brought that up up every single time. Even though we had a witness, we had all the evidence. And yet, he was the only one in that group who wasn't charged with second-degree murder. Even though it was premeditated. So whoever arrested him uh, should have looked at the other charges. and Because now that's kind of fucked it up. Because he's still going to go around proclaim, proclaiming innocence. Even though we had witnesses, we had everything. We had uh, their own one of their own come and tell us exactly what happened. And now he's going to go around telling people that he only got arrested for so-and-so. Scout was the one who fucked him all over, basically, by getting so riled up when he talked to me. I'm just... The only reason I get riled up is because they're all now saying that they didn't murder that lady, which is damn right what they did, every single fucking one of them. And now because Speedy wasn't charged for it, the story seems more believable. Was that noted in his paperwork? Uh, no, as far as I tell. Uh, I don't know who was responsible for the arrest report but yeah he's the only one in the group i believe who didn't get charged with second degree murder and he loves to bring it up to me and i'm about this close to fucking shipping him to Sisca again just to give him a little refresher <laughs> i don't even know what he got charged with Oh my lord. Well, what? I need to uh, take my leave, but it's good seeing you all. Uh, you too, sir. Yeah, take care. What, Weller? Be safe. <laughs> Kramer? Kramer? Yes? Where is Eugene's statement? It should be in the report. I mean, I'm going to fucking I, I, I literally put it in three reports, so don't even. I'll find okay. it for you. Okay. Well, please, because I'm looking at a report made by you on the murder of Dolly yeah, Dixon. It's not in there. <laughs> it should He's be in the losing his mind. <laughs> no, at, at it. It's not in here. <laughs> wait, oh, wait. Hold on. I'm 100% I'm sure it's in there. I'll find it for you. So I've just read it. Hey, Branch. And even though we were told in person, right, when I was around the church saying the people at XYZ, and he said, yes, that wasn't put into a statement. So now it makes sense that he wasn't charged with murder. Motherfucker. Well, yep. <sighs> That's gonna be an awkward conversation. Quite awkward. Well, now the only problem is we need to go back to Eugene and ask him about it. And we've already paid him the money, Kramer. Oh, yeah. I mean, I paid him after he got shot, yeah. Look, I'll go over my... Uh, I'm trying to remember. I have personal notes on that night, so I can look back at it. Yeah, both of us need to look through our notes on that night. But that's okay. Regardless, it's 100% fucking him. The only problem is now I can understand why the deputies or sheriffs didn't feel confident enough to act on it. But, yeah, he's a fucking murderer. A little worm. The thing is, in Eugene's statement to me, he didn't mention anything about anybody else. Other than, wait, who, what was it that he said? I can't even so remember. So the only thing I remember 
is behind the church and he's saying, do you want to know who did it? And I said something along the lines of, I already know who did it, Tommy Hadley and Speedy. And he went, yeah, well, uh, neither of them actually killed her. It was, uh, quote unquote, uh, what's her name? Adelaide. Correct. Correct. That's all he told me. He said Adelaide was the one that actually dug the knife into her neck. That's all he told me. He didn't say anything else about Speedy, Scout, none of them. Only said something about Adelaide. Didn't he say something about clear. Scout being wrongfully charged nope. for something he didn't commit? He did. Actually, yes. Yep. He did say that. Well, look, I'm... Tommy said that too. I mean, what yeah, I can, they? Fuck. I can, uh, there's a lot, I can dig into it, but up until the point, unless we get to talk to Eugene again, which considering, I mean, he got shot by Tommy, Eugene's I don't think they're going to be on, to us. you don't know that, he it's already like said shit to Eugene, us, Eugene, like Tommy's brother, correct, correct. snitched on all of them, what but the he had hell, a reason to. Yep. It's the, like, it benefited him in that instance to do yeah, that, yeah it did, I don't mean because doesn't benefit again. him Tommy, now, does he? Tommy, what do you mean? Tommy fucking shot him. If anything, there'll be spite there. More reason to inform him. Whole reason he was doing it was because he was trying to talk Tommy out of a violent altercation with the law. And then Tommy blasted him with a shotgun numerous times. I think there is more to it. There's something we don't know. He wouldn't normally do that. He's never done that before. Well, look, I barely know the fella, but he seemed motivated by money and the safety of his brother. He didn't seem to care about anything by, by Adelaide or really even that much about Tommy. I'm not sure. Supposedly they got a mom or something. Maybe he thought, you know, he did the right thing and also the wrong thing at the same time. Regardless, so eventually. they're all trying to protest innocence. It was scout. <laughs> saying that he has to live with what he do, but he'd do it any other day. Uh, Jack Thompson's statement about threats from the Summers gang, if they didn't do it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I have absolutely no qualms that it was in fact him. He also showed up to try and bust Scout out after the entire thing in St. Denis. Oh yeah, so if he wants to go around, saw that, yeah. Correct. If he wants to go around and fucking parade himself as innocent and try and get all angry and, uh, you know, threaten people when they call him a murderer, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right, his job is literally, he's trying to make Lawman feel uncomfortable like they ain't doing a good enough job so they drop charges or don't go as hard on him. It's evidently clear. That's the second time now that we've arrested him something with almost irrefutable proof from either a solid witness, such as the man who just gave us all of them, or from other things like the uh, murder of Dolly Dixon. Yet he will still go around protesting his innocence. Hell, he claims to not be a murderer and we shouldn't put him on him, but he's tortured more law enforcement. Half of the uh, sheriffs have scars from him. But yeah, he ain't a murderer. You know, he's just misunderstood. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Oh, there's the... back to what the fuck is oh, there's the fucking suspicious. The tall trees idiots. <laughs> was... Welcome back to Dog Trees. Damn. Now that's how you throw the ball. I'm oh. gonna go sit down. train horse right there. We have so many weapons everywhere. Uh, hi. By the way, there's a woman in Strawberry that looks exactly like you and dresses exactly like you. Huh? Actually, I thought it was you, actually. Seriously? Yeah. My identity? Yeah, I, I I was about to say I wasn't even gonna ask if if she was Saffron. I was gonna say, hey Saffron, why are you so moody and stuff? And they heard her talk, and then there's no Celtic shenanigans in her voice. So Celtic shenanigans, her. all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You like that Celtic shenanigans? Uh huh. 
I made you laugh, so you can't you can hold that against me. Did a lot happen for the few minutes, I, well, for a few minutes, half a day I wasn't on duty because there was not these many reports when I went to bed. Uh, aye, a lot just happened tonight. We haven't had a lot happening and then a lot happened tonight. Some are just getting shot down a bunch of deputies. At the same time we had multiple groups being kidnapped and kidnapping people and... Uh, everything just happened, everything just happened today and just one after the other. Mm -hmm. Fuck, okay. All about the same hour. So. Hmm. I need to go check my telegrams. Yeah, yeah. I'll go with you, just in case you get kidnapped. Thank you, because Thorn's been around making... Alright. She sent me a telegram after she got out of Cisco. Oh. What about... Well, she just asked how my neck was feeling, and signed it, you know who. I guess just let me know that she was out and then she was in the telegram station when uh deputy thorn was trying to send some stuff mm -hmm. out for kramer's birthday party today that never happened um, yeah and then she uh, looked at me she goes oh look at this place so full of memories so many dark corners and i said i'm not quite sure what you mean i think this is just an ordinary telegram station well she's getting through right. She's already making threats against people. Right. A, lo a lone, a lone person is so much harder to get than an entire gang. Aye, because they have the freedom to flee and hide whenever they want. They're not held up waiting for anyone or trying to communicate with anyone. Mm-hmm. Hello there. Hello there. Tommy didn't telegram me. Nothing? No, nothing. And Two Snakes was saying that he telegrammed me. So, uh, he definitely did not. I, I bet he telegrammed the wrong person, thought it was you, and now it's gonna bite you and the other person in the ass. Uh, no, I'm gonna... I know, he never replies to my telegrams. Like, I don't know if he's getting them. Or what? I'm gonna do a wanted with the DNA on him so that we can try and build a case. See that man right there? Which one? The one with the red top hat. Yeah. That's Dr. Roger Tyne. 
That's the one who is kidnapping Natalie and trying to force her to marry him. And so she Wow, hell of a fucking pair of eyes on that dumbass. <laughs> Either way, it's still very wrong, regardless of how irrita irritated we... Mm. What? Hello? I was a bit enthusiastic about my running today. What? I was a bit too enthusiastic about my running today. Oh. oh okay. <sighs> Honey, I don't invest in stocks. Come on, let's uh, our horses. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that that's exactly Jazam. That's what happened to me when I started the law. Let's take our horses home. Only reason I check telegrams regularly is because Boyd. You get the feeling those people did a crime. <sighs> They're a ranch associate. Who knows? I, I, I don't care anymore. Ranch is what the fuck is it? Okay. Ranch associated. You're talking about uh, Blam. I, I I don't know who you're talking about. Sorry. I'm talking about JoJo and that other fellow that were there. I had to look on how JoJo was. It's the ones from Tall Trees, you know the. Oh, ones those they, ones. Uh, with red shirt. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what happened last night. They killed a cannibal out there. I thought that was a while ago. Nope, that literally last night. Oh, fair enough. And we have. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of stuff that is happening that may be slipping through the cracks. Right. Because I'm not sure, I mean, I think from what they said, that whole thing that happened to all trees last night is probably self-defense. Sorry, I was not going to follow you inside because I uh, didn't know if... Oh. Okay. Hey, I'll, I'll give this a look over and... Uh, yeah, I'll put it forward to the, the other sheriffs too. Okay. Actually, uh, can, Chief, I, I mean, can I get rid of the knives or not to be not going to be, yeah, 100% agreed upon. I know, I like the way Branch dresses too. He's too cool. <gasps> Six. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about this. Uh, I don't know, but I'm not following his case. I have no reason to look at his his case right now. I mean, I feel the same way you do, so I don't want to. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put it forth to the other sheriffs to see what they say. Sure. Sure. Yeah. No, I will. I will. All right. That's all I really got. I can head back on duty if you want, but uh, I mainly just came down here to talk about that. Uh, yeah, no, it's entirely up to you. Um, uh, if you're here to work, you can work, or if you've got other business, yeah. then by all means. Yeah, well, um, I'm going to go keep talking to Hummingbird because they're a bit concerned now that Thorn's out of uh, Sissica. For understandable reasons. Right, okay. Yep. Well, then you so, go ahead um, and take care of that. Yep, yep. Might as well do it on duty. All right. Do you need somebody to go with you? No, they're just at the medical tents, so. All right. At least they were. If I, uh, if I do have to leave town, I might grab someone, but until then. All right. I'll be right back.
Howdy. You know. This door does not close properly. I, I hate the Blackwater door so much. It, there better not be any freaking gold bars in, the, in any of these boxes. Or I am going to rage again. Alright, thank Christ there isn't. We are good. We're at the time of night where I'm sure nothing else could happen. Who's John Tatum? <laughs> Don't jinx that's, it. That's an actual person. Who's John Tatum? I heard that name before. I have no clue. I swear, I, I swear there was a John Tatum. Fuck. Hello? Can I help you? You can what come on you in. Doing? This damn door. Hey, you got any weapons on you, man? Yeah, just a gun and a knife. Yeah, do you mind just placing your arms up? Yeah, sure thing. I mean, what? I can just hand them to you if you want. Yeah, I would love to, but unfortunately, I do got to patch it down the protocol and whatnot. Oh, I, I don't ever have? pat down a an interview candidate. Uh, are you sure, sir? <laughs> uh, yeah, that happened good. before. Fine, I suppose he's offering. Sure. Yeah, I was about to say, call me thorough. Howdy. Are you busy right now, or could uh, Maple and I just borrow you for two seconds? How many seconds exactly? Uh, it's about Shepard. He was just injured in that gunfight, and he gave us a lot of lip about asking him to not be on duty. Um, I believe Lark, Lark and Kavanaugh agreed that he needs to be speaking to a counselor. He was reaching for his gun while in the medical tents. He's on morphine, all this other stuff, so. Gotcha. He's here now? Uh, he in is in Valentine. Valentine. He, okay. uh, he rode... He rode on his own from Rhodes here, or to Valentine. Um, and when I, I walked in there, I was like, hey, you know, shouldn't be on duty. He just got hurt real bad. And he, he insisted he wants to be on duty, watch over the town. Uh, and Thorne was telling me, like, all right, well, we'll just go down there and let you guys know. And he kind of just blew the fuck up. Um, I said, well, I mean, in that instance, then, you know, we're going to talk to a sheriff about it because this is not okay. You know, you literally frightened a medic. You are on morphine you're injured um there's zero reason that he should be working right now uh Lark. Mark. yeah when she, when they were in the tent uh he started reaching for his gun and everything like that to the point where she felt so uncomfortable that she asked me to take the weapons off of him not to mention at one point ned was fucking pumping him to keep him alive so. with like a bellows I'm sorry if that was overreaching, Sheriff, um, but I just saw that he was completely not ready for duty. Yeah, it's my window's um, open. So I figured and I'd come and talk hear to you. the punks driving by. Sure. No, that makes sense. Um, all right. I have a, an interview I need to conduct, and then I'll okay. head up to Valentine and see if I can find it. Perfect. Thank you. What was the thing? Yeah, I'll, I'll come with you right now. I was going to head back anyway. Speedy, you think you two are going to be able to handle that? That's yeah. exactly what I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean. I'll talk to him reasonably if you want me to. I think, we, I think it's best. Lark. I think it's best we just let the sheriff do it. Speedy, right. Emma, and I hope the other yeah. one. We just sent Sitska. Speedy, no Emma, one. and somebody else. Okay. Yeah, I think some people it's should go Sitska. there to keep an eye. We, we out. can we, mm -hmm. we can head back. Okay. Um. So we came down here. Uncle We're going Kramer, to come down I think here. is gonna Hold go. On. Do you do you oh, want to yeah. go with him, Maple? Scout. Yeah, yes. I'll head back. Thorn, you gonna stay here? Uh, mm, how many do we have here right now? One, two, three. A lot. Oh, is there more? Uh, Wayne is by the telegram station. I need to talk to Wayne anyway. Yeah, we need to talk to Wayne. Is what, Wayne on What was duty? that, Weller? No, Wayne's not on No, Wayne's injured. 
Yeah. That whole group, that, that whole six is injured. <laughs> and off duty. Uh, Shepard's the only one who's like being stubborn about it. Right. Wait, let me conduct this interview. Um, Perfect. And then I'll be going up to Valentine also, so we don't need to send too many if uh, okay. we got business here. But I'll stick if around. you can just uh, give me a little bit of space around the the desk right over here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I can, uh, I can look right. right here. Thank you, Sheriff. Sorry for the interruption. All right. Yeah, apologies. Sorry about that. If you'd like to uh, come right this way and grab a chair. Yeah, all right. Oh, my God. After today. I... <laughs> Sorry, okay. guys, the paperwork um, RP. Well, howdy. Uh, my name is Sheriff Cash, by the way. Nice to meet you. Alrighty. Um, where do you come from? Cash is. That's state of the north. All right. How long you been here? Something going on? Are they just in that. Huh? What? <laughs> Good lord. I'm working on paperwork. I don't know what I'm, you I'm want. I'm just asking, is something going on with uh, those two just heading uh, out? Yeah, I, I Keep it down a little bit out there if you can, please. Sorry. Alright. No, I don't Keep know. No, doing. not that. that you don't know. Sheriff is doing an interview and other people are being dramatic. I don't okay. know. Alright. I'm going to check the one. I just find it so much easier to read when it's not stretching across the entire page. You got shot. Welcome to day one. <laughs> You're enjoying watching me do. Microsoft Word. <laughs> Basically.
No, tab does not work. Otherwise, I would use tab. Thank you for your input. Oh yeah, sometimes we don't want to do stuff because we don't want to have to do the paperwork. That is very true. But this is a lot of stuff that I typed down while he was uh, speaking. You can assume that Saffron Hut is a very, prof very proficient at her shorthand. <laughs> No, that the copy and paste of the indenting spaces also doesn't work for some reason. I was trying to do it last night and it it was not working. I know I seem crazy, guys. It's true, it's true. I don't know. I had it. I I did it, and it um, I made an indent. Just copied the spaces in here, and then moved it, and it only worked once. Like I could, it it wouldn't work repeatedly. If that makes sense. How's the weather up there? Goodness, why? Yeah, it was really loud. Sorry, guys. Ah, 
they haven't started drag racing yet. I'll see if she thought that and bring it here. Huh? I bet so. Mr. Casey, you've got quite the terrible ability to choose your fate. Maybe get some tips from Claymore. He chooses well. Your unlikely numbers are two and four. What is this? Well, now we know you live next to the Nyorberg ring. I don't even know what that is. Okay, yeah. Don't don't live in Germany, but nice try. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be a, a Scottish accent. Go, come with. We're going to Valentine. Okay, right safe place. No, stay safe. Be around for Yeah, I do remember Claymore talking about being robbed and there or there was a thing. I'm tired, guys. A lot of stuff. A crazy night.
She has Holly Frost hair. No! That's Holly Frost's hair. Alright, uh, would you mind waiting outside? Yeah. I was gonna go off duty and then everything happened at once! Could be worse, could be another hatchet mask or alone in... What, I need to, like... I just, I, I need to stay on track. I need to put together a wanted DNA on time. Okay, well. What do you mean, witch? I ain't even seen you today. Someone fall off a roof. I bold rangers did it. Yeah, I heard. I made a new repeater to replace the one you bullies took from me. Which plays uh, Jonathan Shaw, one of the Red Water do do, leader. The... Huh? I said, "How do you do?" Oh, um, you know, I'm a day. <laughs> Howdy. Hi. Yeah, Jonathan Shaw, Lonnie's brother. Currently runs with Summers. Probably will die running with Summers. Still no telegrams from Boyd. When the last telegram is from bloodthirsty murderers. <laughs> you don't like me? Or you don't know me? <laughs> that sounds like such a threat. Sorry, it's been a... What you call a long day. I'm just Sorry saying it must have been yeah. like that for you, mm -hmm. so I, I hope it gets a bit brighter. Yeah, so do I. Uh, I, 
There's just a few dozen people we need to put behind bars for good, I think. Or oh, wow. Under That's a lot. the ground. Ooh. Okay. Well, good oh, luck with that. that. <laughs> That looks so much like gun right there. What? Who, what is this? Wait, what, oh, what happened so gentle. to him? He got kicked by a fucking horse because. Okay, they... I thought I heard. I, a... I thought I heard a shout as I went to towards the telegram station. That I said I got a it. bona fide dumbass. Is that it? <laughs> yep, that's his diagnosis. Uh... Yeah. Oh, make sure not I hear it ringing. Oh, I'm gonna beat you. No, you're not. Oh my god, you're so fast! <laughs> I'm never doing a transport again with those people. Really? They just I'm, yelled at I'm the same sorry. Time. I'm sorry. I knew that's what was gonna happen. Oh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> My team street crashed too. Well, I saw the Saf kidnapping and had nightmares. You know, it was kind of a oh. bit inappropriate for you to be speaking about it in front of so many people, which I think, if that is Nobody the case. Nobody nearby, <sighs> and I did look around, but yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's what I mean. To him, uh, even... Paperwork. Are we going to chase that main shanner? I really don't feel like it. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm sorry that that transport is so terrible. No, you're fine. They just, the entire time, they were like, we don't know what we're doing, blah, blah, blah. We're just biased against them. We have no evidence. And I'm just uh -huh. like, I don't know what to tell y'all because I don't know the full story. Oh, we had, we like had evidence. We had. Right. You know, and that, you know, of course I did that, but I just, I'm just trying had, to get them to stop fucking yelling at us. So I'm just like, okay, I'll we look had into it. We had an eyewitness account from someone who Speedy, from Speedy's own mouth, told me was his friend. So it's, you know. Like, I think if Speedy identifies him as a friend, that person likely doesn't have any reason to tell us tall tales about what Speedy's getting up to. Especially when it's not in Speedy's fever. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. I, and I get that, and I trust that y'all had plenty of evidence, but they no were way. just going on and no, on and I, on I about you. We didn't know why we were charging them, who, what, where, why. Then I was like, I'll, I'll, like... We'll see what your charges are when we get there. And they're like, can you make a deal with us? If we tell you who actually did it, will you cut off time for us? If I admit to just being the one to stab them, will you do this or that? I'm like, I'm not here to make a deal. I'm just here to process you. And if we can look into rectifying it in the future, we will. Because there's not just much. And they're like, well, you can do something here. You can, you're, you're a lawman. You can do what you want around here. And I'm like, that's not how it works. And they just went on and on and on and on and on. And they want their weapons back. And they're angry and lost so much money. They're playing poker. This is just nonstop. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's just. Mm -hmm. I, no, I, I know. I know. I, it, 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 you need to tell someone about it because it's so unjust that you're being treated that way just for doing your job oh, uh, no. and it, it is what it is you know it's just a transport they weren't getting under my skin or anything but good lord they are mad i know it, it, uh, same thing they weren't really getting under my skin but it was just like okay I, you know you, you can sit there and say i don't have evidence all you want to but i do <laughs> so yeah and of but course no i'm not gonna tell you who your accuser is because you're gonna go out there and try and murder them right and they're like well I don't know. They said something. I said something back. I'm like, I guess we're just at an impasse. And it was silent for like two minutes, which was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh. really remember what happened, but. Clamware, can you look at the report? I just started writing something. I need you to see that. It's a tip that came through. It says Claymore on the FAO, okay? Don't look at me like that. Do you see what I'm talking about? 
And what was the uh, the tip? It's moonshine. I have ah. a report to write. I, I don't want to chase. The same two people who robbed me. If you, uh, I'll bring up my report. Have you read that report yet? I remember yeah. reading something about it. I didn't know if someone wanted to add that to a report or an investigation or something like that. Uh, maybe it'll be an investigation. It sounds like they're targeting law. Well, it sounds like they might have robbed Nate Casey or done to Nate Casey, whatever they did to you. Do you see what the, the tip says? That. Please. Huh? What? Just down a pitch. Oh, down a pitch. Speaking normal. Yeah, we can hear you from inside. Okay. <laughs> I asked uh, Kramer, and apparently there was two. He was the one that they robbed. Kramer, not Casey. Casey oh, Kramer. Casey Kramer. Okay, I. All right. So maybe then that just needs to be had to if if Casey started a report on that. Ah, then I can. I just saw. The thing is, I don't know their names or anything, so I don't know what to put for wanted report. Like unknown man and unknown woman. You do something that describes what they're doing, where they they have you know the chance chance robbers or they you know pick a number robbers something like that, something that's gonna uh, make people go. This sounds like it might be them if they have another recurrence. The twist of fate. I don't know. Well, make it really simple. Something, <laughs> something that's easy for people to understand. So, where where do they do? They're having you pick numbers, eh? Well, no. They, um, well, with me, they. Uh... Had me flip a co they flipped a coin, had me choose heads or tails whether or not they would keep my revolt, my navy. Okay. Then they had, then to decide whether or not I would actually leave that place in one piece, they had me choose a number between one and six. I just so happened to choose right. five, which it rolled five. I would say pick a number, robbers, something like that. Because that's probably going to pique people's interest if they hear more stuff like this. Something like that. Well, that's and just... it's a man and a woman. And from the way Aye. they talk to each other, it sounded like they're a couple. I well, have you put together a report on this and detailed that sort of stuff? Uh, it's in my arrest report. Oh, and you, you might want to start a dossier I... on that, on them as a yeah. as a peer. Um, thinking about that, but since they only hit me and then now they hit. I mean, that's Kramer. that's plenty enough that allows us to start getting headway on getting their stuff tied together so that when they eventually do get you know, sl sloppy, uh, we can actually catch them. Oh, good on you. Alright, I'll get to work on that and have it done in my morning. Thank you. I just gotta see uh, Kramer's see if you wrote one. Aye, if you do see that and he has not had that tip added to it, sure. uh, go and add to it and I can bend that one that I made. Here we go. <laughs> we go to Rhodes. Okay, we got to go to Rhodes. What's happening? Multiple gunshot wound victims. Again? Right. Lock, darling. I need to go get a horse. I sorry on the run. Multiple gunshot wounds and roads. Uh, we're trying to bring up the rear, okay? I don't know. It's okay. We rear? can just, we'll just. Just Mitchell, go. You coming? Okay. Bye. Right. Right, if that's the case, it's one, two, one, two. two, two.
sounds like we're in a rush, but uh, it's nice to meet you. My name is Cadet Hurst. Nice to meet you. I'm um, Deputy Mitchell. Nope. The party never happened because everything else happened. Let Weller lead. <laughs> Are you key? Right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. You're okay now. That's good. I'm glad you're okay now. Straight onto a rock and then up into a tree branch. <laughs> Can I do this? I was Navigate everyone? I... I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I bet you don't. <laughs> what is it with you and water, Rip? <laughs> let's get the formation so Cadet can actually see what we do. <laughs> Mate, one tay tay. I, I made my bed earlier when I said I had it. Okay. I don't want to take him on train tracks, but I guess we're doing that now. I uh, am not going on the train tracks. Is everyone alright though? Why are they going on the train tracks? I just told them to slow down and wait for anyone who got collided with that rider. Why do they say they're going on the train tracks? I don't understand. I don't I don't know. Let's just continue in. There's literally no reason to turn around and go on the train tracks. Halfway there five minutes ago. <laughs> Allowing the people in the back to catch up a wee bit. Ooh. Oh, dang. Nope. Mm. Sorry. God damn it. Great first impressions for the cadet rip. Great first impressions. Like, you know when you get something in your eye for a moment? No eye, I know. Rider. Rider. We're speeding back up, we're going off route or off road and over this hill. We're going off route. I'm gonna kill somebody. Rock. Slowing down so people can catch Slow up, down. rest horses, whatever they need. 
How are your horses doing? Uh, my horse feels like it's about, I don't know, halfway sure. or so. Huh. Breathing's okay. Alright, we're speeding up again. Speeding up? Right. Going right along the tracks for a wee bit. Going right. And then right back onto the road. Right on the road. Crossing down, mind the rocks. Crossing down, off the road, mind the rocks. And horse is starting to get a little tired. Right, mind the rocks, slowing down. Slowing down, Slow watch down. the rocks. I wasn't gonna hit you, sir. We are dead, though. In my eyes, I was like, t stop this two feet. You're a, at least a, a horse length away. Uh, in my eyes, he slammed into me. Amazing perspective. Get in the town, see what's going on. What's going on? Uh, well, this gentleman was shot. By who? Okay, it looks like uh, there was Not a gentleman sure over was. there. Who was with, with, with Tommy? All right, what do we have? And now I'm yeah, trying to save my friend me. here. Oh my goodness. We're coming back for you. Hey. Jesus Christ. I wouldn't leave you. Right, you go, I think I... Hugo, wake up. Hugo? Oh no. Can, can we have anybody non-certified please clear the area? Thank you. Alright, Than, can I talk to you? Danny, would you no, mind no. step back? No, no, no. Trying to help my friend here. No, no. Here. Don't. Uh, Tain! Uh, is this, this hey, can we, can we, bit. can we leave if we're Darn. not certified? Right. Yeah. You heard her. Everybody can you hear? Can back everyone? This I, lawful order. This is a lawful I'm order. I the, leave. the salt here is just about to kick in. Oh! Oh! Dan, can I, I talk to you? Over word. Here? Yes. Just please. Oh, at least you got the bullet already. Oh goodness, Danny. Well, somebody oh. got. Is he he a just doctor? took that bullet right oh, out of there. Yeah, he's a yeah. disgusting. Exactly. Without any tools. Just yeah. <laughs> Ew. Mm -hmm. Just don't ever nah. do that to me. If you are. Nobody listens to Saffron. This is my my life. No, they all just scream at her that she doesn't know what she's doing and that she's doing her job wrong. Uh, Mitchell and the rest of them were behind. No, they weren't. So I thought we'd double back. Oh, they we, caught up. We were. And... Right I there. I rode past them. You you so rode by saying we didn't need to take the tracks, but now I guess we're taking the tracks, and we're all together, and we're like, why on earth would we take the tracks? We're already, okay. already halfway down Instead, the hill, and you disappeared. The deputy. What? It's good fun. You're lucky I didn't get fucking torn apart by wolves. I'm so uh, we didn't know where you went. Hood's gonna pick me up. Fucking okay, anyone. well, you I literally died. you literally ran off in the middle of stuff. Yeah, I sent slow up so the others could catch up. Maybe, I didn't. Yeah, maybe. Exactly. So my eyes, right? 
maybe it was a little bit of a, the Australian uh, boogaloo. Something, something Australian boogaloo happened because someone collided yeah. with someone and then that someone wasn't there and it was something very strange. So I'm not quite sure. Because the rider, the rider went past but, and immediately like collision. There's almost yeah. there's, there's almost never okay. any reason yeah. to take a patrol and you know a across large group of people like that like across tracks no one went yeah. was going across the tracks we were halfway down the road from rig station just when just just abandoned weller yeah hope he, hope he catches literally up. weller you That's disappeared right. and we didn't know, where you you went. know i was just could have been fucking a wolf's chew, chew toy or gavin summers could have picked you're me a up big boy weller quit waiting toenails Okay. You know, can someone go down to the about. journal store and get a bottle gonna... of chocolate milk and give it to Weller so he stops whining? I mean, I, I could just give him a slap. Yep. I can do that. Okay, hey, thank Weller. you, Kadat. <laughs> Are they beating on each other? Yeah. Did you start beating on each other in here? Where's going? He did in? slap me, yes. I gave him a slap around the head. <laughs> yep, and he got what he deserved. Wait, what? Take me again. Where are y'all? Are you talking about time? Yes. Fucking bird, I'm fucking you up being an idiot. Stop it. Tyne tried to take her again. Where's Tommy? Where from? He tried to take her again? Yeah, Here. that's what this whole thing there's, was about. Tyne is just out back out. there. He's talking to Kramer. Okay. Right. I'm in the Apparently, middle. apparently here, uh... uh no, here, what? come in here. Uh, yeah. I've gathered. Tommy tried not uh, not Tommy. Tyne tried to take her again. Tommy intervened. There was a shootout, and that's how the man got shot. I'm sure it is. I'm I'm very sure that it was because he was saying basically that he was gonna come looking. Again, I'm just afraid. If I go put him away now, he's gonna be gone for a short while, and then. <sighs> well, Matt, I was just about to start a large case file on him and try and get what I could, but he's already back at it. So mm -hmm. I, because because. Adelie is saying that he took her again a few days after I was fight uh after and that he cut her and hurt her and the stuff but you know this is all his word her word against his and he claims that he wouldn't hurt her so uh, can you bring Tide in here we're just gonna have to bring him in here um I don't, uh, what I'm trying to think like we bring him in here Cause I've got him. I've. I, I mean, I can charge him with torture. I can charge him with kidnapping and attempt a kidnapping again. <laughs> torture would put him away for a little bit. A little bit, not very long though. Let me look at the penal code. But you're right. The moment he gets out, he's gonna start right up again. But if we let him out now, he's probably gonna try to take her again sometime tonight. It's a no win. Bring him in here. We're gonna get him for torture. He's gonna go to Sissica. Oh, hey, We're hi. just gonna take more there. All right, I'll tell Kramer. Uh, uh Maple. Oh, congratulations! Uh, Tyne, bring him in here. I'd love you to meet my friend Speedy. Oh, thank you. Speedy is an interesting man. Mm-hmm. He's a really good man. So is my sweet Tommy. Tommy, you still in your I do. Just as protocol, I will need to disarm you, alright? You can put your hands up for me. Thank you. Yes, I am. Where did Adelaide go? Oh, fine. She's outside. There's a man. Weller? Who? Yeah? Uh, you said before that you wanted to, uh, what is it, uh, someone hear from it. Were you around when this uh, incident happened? I, I, I heard gunshots and oh, I yeah. ran inside the saloon. Okay. Your boyfriend got anything to do with it? No. Right. So Tyne was trying to take your gun, Natalie. Is that what happened? Yes. Okay, can you no, give no. Weller a statement? Wait, actually, no. I, I can't lie about that. <laughs> he, he didn't okay. try to take me. Then what? Yeah, then what happened? Tell you what, Mr. Tyne, uh, if there was an argument a between who and who. Protocol. Anybody that tells well, so we come to know. find out, a lot of people were looking for me, and mm -hmm. some people saw him and want to share some words with him. 
Can I ask her a few questions? I just talked at the end. I, I, please, I please TV. ask One questions, yeah, please. This is I am being Perth. arrested and Perth. jailed. Yeah, his knife's in lockup. And not the ones who should be, because they got away. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, see how yeah. things are no, done around here. We, we sent a whole bunch of those people to Sisica mm -hmm. tonight. It just happens that there's there more out there. Uh, Stan, stop taking me! I'm not taking you, Adelaide. I'm gonna let Weller deal with this. <laughs> if anyone's writing paperwork, it's you. I no, I mean, like, deal with him. Mitchell needs to drop a pen before she gives herself ink poisoning somehow. Wait. Wait, wait, what? I'm saying you've fucking written a lot of paperwork today. I am very, oh, yeah, very aware. That's, well, that's I'm what I'm losing saying. losing my mind. Yeah, exactly. Give Claymore some paperwork to do. Well, I've got this. I was trying to... I need to I get this down before I lose it. This whole thing yeah. was uh, Mitchell's thing. And I don't want to step on that and, or mess it up. That's code for, yeah, I'm just going to let someone else do it because I can't be fucked. Go on, tell me I'm wrong. Considering that one time I did all the paperwork for you guys that night, uh, you guys wouldn't have to. What's the date and time? Please, someone tell me. Just That's a terrible thing to ask me. June first, <laughs> and it is one forty-two a.m. New York. <laughs> ask the Australian. It's a terrible thing. over here and think about something when you do that. I mean, I'll, I'll help you take him to Sissica and everything. I'm not feeling too well. Can we get Sir? a doctor in here? We, we, he, pro he probably got wounded in something here. We need to see a doctor. Do we have a doctor with hands free out here? Hey, uh... Hi. Hi. One of the trainees just brought something up. If you want to take a moment to listen yeah, to them right, about it. Oh. It's Hummingbird. Oh, okay. Hi. Okay. Hi, -oh. What's Sorry. your name? I don't think I mean, I don't got no money. Oh, I'm, I'm Saffron. I'd love to pay him, though. Oh, Saffron, you've changed your hair. I let it down. Uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. What, what are you? Um, the Warp Brindlehorse, do you know who it belongs to? That one's mine. Okay. You're thinking it's Thorns, aren't you? I'm thinking it's Thorns. Hers doesn't have the shock of weight on no, it. No, that's not. I, okay. I, I saw her today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does she say anything to you? No oh, way. At least it's for the medical. Sent me a telegram as soon as she got out, too. Hmm. 
No. I haven't got anything. But Rude. This day, I'm probably gonna well, have I think it's probably better that way, eh? Eh, yeah, true. Well, I mean, we did have a nice wee chat in Sissica. That's other than that. Oh, yeah, I'm quite certain that if she wants to stalk someone, she wants them to know that she's doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, whatever. Did she say anything to you about you, uh, brand? Again. She asked me how my neck was feeling. I think I'll mm. be fine. That's what the contacts and content I of do, the telegram was. I don't know. And you go, maybe we shouldn't go after Miss Ivy hey, um, anymore. You, you don't have to answer this, but we gotta talk to the doctor about it, did she take your blood too? No, no, she didn't. I don't yeah. think she did. Any of us. I'm really confused. Press that knife to my neck. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Um. Because unlike the others, I mean, that she decided to torture for information that they didn't have, have she brought me to a sheriff's office yeah, meeting to get actually, directly into uh, files. Hmm. Finally clued in. Third time's the charm, right? Yeah. Something like that. So I just got lucky in that regard. Because hmm. the others literally could not give her what she wanted. No. Oh, what kind of doctor is he? No. And I was just the experiment. Just the surgeon? Okay. Uh, yeah. Darcy where do you guys, where do you guys normally stay? To put a sh um, I mean, I like to go around Put him, yeah. Sometimes. She was in the way. Her not getting what she like wanted from us. Mm -hmm. I don't want any. Yeah. I don't, and she's I don't already know. threatening other people in the department yeah, and other stuff. Day, sure. mm -hmm. Yeah, is there okay. is there anything I can do or say to yeah, you I that will yeah, no problem. that Thank will you. keep that you'll I just want you to keep me posted just Maybe this might help my headache. Right now, I'm really we, scared we don't know anything she's just been out See? so <laughs> okay probably not well, if, if I think that she's gonna target someone I'll probably try and let them know but I think that she's mm -hmm. probably already letting Find people out. know when they're being targeted she mm -hmm. has. Oh, yeah. She enjoys the fear. Oh. She feeds off of it. <laughs> Thanks for the mm. Oh, I know. Sure it I'll be up in the. Uh, in the right, right I've got a Thanks. bloody you mass to deal with inside. No, no, you. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead. Hugo! What happened to time? I d I... Where am I? Uh, you're in Rhodes. Alright. Oh. Adelaide! Adelaide! What the fuck? Adelaide. Adelaide. Me stand up. I don't know, I'm trying Adelaide. to figure Adelaide. that out. Adelaide. Nobody knows yet. Sure. Adelaide. This is Adelaide. Adelaide. Adelaide, you cannot just threaten. Not how this works, okay? Yep, up we come. Would you like to lay down on the bed, or? Yes, I. I think. I. Are we in a cell for? What am I doing here? Okay. 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 Easy. Easy. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? You lied to me too, Miss Adelaide! I... I don't know. My head is very cloudy right now. Riding to Blackwater. What the fuck happened to him? Nobody knows. Great. Wonderful. Well, on that note, after the fucking shitstorm that today was, I'm gonna go to sleep. Great. Um, good luck, you guys. I'm sorry I can't stay awake a little longer. No, nope, you're good. But, uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow for sure. Uh, that was... Uh, uh, 
think someone helping me earlier. I'm not sure. Okay. Alright. The barrier's curse defense. Um, any... Anything else you could tell me about? Anything regarding your treatment? I'm too sure. I'm sorry, miss. That's okay. <coughs> um... Okay. I'm just feeling quite sick, is all. I'm gonna answer this later. I'm... Have you eaten anything that you wouldn't have normally eaten recently? Doctor, uh, are you in there? Are there periods of time before the last hour or so that are missing? Anything like that? Doctor! Doctor's busy. You Not go, that just, I know. Just relax. I haven't eaten anything odd. I haven't eaten much at all. Okay. Aside of soup. Okay. Can you tell me your uh, full name? I don't I don't I don't know, Hugo. I think I think the doctor's already made his name for Roger Thine. The name is Roger Thine. Uh, it is a uh, pleasure to meet you, uh, Dr. Thine. Preferably under better circumstances. Do you remember what you might have eaten yesterday for dinner? No, I do not. Okay. I am pretty sure I was in a jail cell not too long ago. Quite like this one. Okay. Um, do you remember where you were born? Yes, I do. Okay. Alright. Have you had any head injuries or anything like that in the last 48 hours? Yes, I was knocked off my horse. Very recently, I think. I think. That may be why my head hurts so bad. Or maybe. Please help me up. I Okay. This time I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my shoulder underneath your arm. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you to your feet, but we're gonna sit down gently, okay? We're gonna sit down just against the bars, and that should be a little easier than trying to stay standing. Yes. I agree. Okay. Alright. And we're gonna stand on up. Yeah, okay. Oh. Alright, now ease yourself back down gently. There we go. Why am I behind these bars again? I'm sure the lovely uh, deputy here can tell you. Well, because from moment. the sounds of it, it seems like you keep trying to kidnap Adelie. I was not trying to do anything like that. Were you trying? Last to thing I remember you? was nope. Trying to 
find her just to talk to her in. Okay. So, so Tyne, before you, before, let's go back to our previous conversations, eh? So you had Adelaide with you. You're going to have the wedding today, eh? Yes. Well, it seems like somebody has gone and taken a knife and cut Adelaide's arms up. You wouldn't have to know anything about that, would you? No, that was... that was not me. Well, who was it then? I don't know. Because... because... it seems like it was you, Mr. Tyne. And Adelaide no, does not was... want, and, and Adelaide has said to me that, and I asked her, I just spoke with her, she does not want to go with you. She did not want to go with you. So how am I supposed to take that, Dr. Tyne? You see, I was just in jail for a long time. Not long enough. And all I wanted to do was talk to her. Okay. You can ask Danny... And Hugo and Cletus. And I found her here. In so I'm Rhodes. not talking about I'm not talking about this time, I'm talking about before. I'm talking about before. I'm talking about you know how you got shot up on top of that hilltop? Yes. Right? So you had Adelie at that point. She was there with you. Adelie was not there. Of her own free will. She did not want to be there. And who's telling you this, Adelie? Adelie is telling me that. I, I think that Adelie is the one who would know what she wants. So that right. tells me that you kidnapped her again. And not only did you kidnap her, you tortured her. You were harming her. Cutting her up with knives. I did nothing of the sort. Really? Then then how did she get these knife marks all over her arms? I you don't who know. was very fond of his knife and didn't he want it taken away. I don't know. I know the only reason I'm here in this cell right now. You're here Okay. Oh, one, one second. I didn't want to interrupt. All. I just, no. I just need to ask him a couple things about the descriptions of the people. We're sitting out there with Adelaide. We're about to break through, but I need sure, to know sure, who these people sure. look no, like. Sure, sure, sure. No, go ahead, go, go ahead. I, I'm so done. Uh... Yes. Yes. And. There was one, I think, didn't have very much hair on top of his head. And, if I remember correctly, my head is quite cloudy. He had some, what of an accent. A very unfamiliar one. Like he was almost speaking with his mouth closed, very odd. Now, I don't know what she's talking about. She is not. There are four men are in total that walked up to you, correct? There are four people. And then, is that counting Adelaide or not? Because... In my mind, I, I hear Tommy and no, his three other individuals not counting I wouldn't Adelaide. say that's counting Adelaide, no. Okay. If I remember, she was standing off to the side somewhere. She says she ran into the saloon as soon as the shooting started, is that true? I'm not sure. I was pulled off to my horse, like I said, by mm -hmm. Tommy, and choked in was all a mess from there. Fair enough. All right, thank you. I'm all yours. I 
as you were saying, Deputy Mitchell. <laughs> I'm saying that you're harassing this woman. You're harming this woman and you're kidnapping this woman. Once I let you out of the cell, what are you going to go do? Go try and get her again? I'm going to try to talk to her. She does not want to talk to you. Fine. I will leave her alone then. I will leave the love of my life alone. Aye, you're going to have to. And I'll just send her telegrams to let her know how much I love her. You best be watching that you're not harassing her because that is a charge that we can and will find you for. Because I'm sick of this happening. Oh, I'm... I'm very much sick of it as well. Sick of men beating me down. Trying to kick me out of town. I'm sick of all sorts of things. <laughs> I'll be I right back. I even be in here now. Hmm. I, I disagree. I think that you should be rotten in Sisica right now. Where's Kramer? I'm doing that thing. I'm just looking at through one eye. Okay. Let's see what lines up. Okay, so is is he? Are we continuing to hold him or not? Just give me a second. I'm, we can I, let him go. I'm just gonna check his injuries. We just need to look at his injuries. Yeah. Okay. We don't have anything to hold him on. For well, okay. story I'm, 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 story. I have I have Adelie saying that when he kidnapped her this last time that he tortured her and stuff like that. But I'm, oh yeah, I'm, that's definitely well, dumb. I'm just, yeah, that's definitely, well, that's here's the thing. I'm here's the thing. Here, no, no. Here's the thing, though. That's her word against us. That's what I have right now. Okay. Well, so we have a, I will a, say a lying murderer who surrounds herself with other against lying this crazy fella against some crazy nut job doctor. Which the only thing I've got. Tortures people which and does experiments. The only thing I, I. But we don't have any evidence of that because everything. I think someone fucked up the paperwork on this. I'm going to be completely real. I, there yeah, should they, they be did. another but, incident look, okay, report let's about focus a on what we got Okay, right but now. anyways, okay, right now we have. Thine. We don't. We don't have anything on him from anything because there's apparently a fire that destroyed all paperwork post 1901. So everything that he was when he was active was last year. We, I, I need to get with this McKenna, this deputy McKenna, who's apparently just back and try and find out what he knows. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm not going to be arresting Tyne on these torture and kidnapping charges tonight, but I'm going to be compiling a case against him. Otherwise, he's just going to be bouncing in and out of Sisica. Or in and out of the cells for minor charges, because harassment and all that is nothing. It's 15 days. Correct. Now, the question is, the folk that Tommy was supposedly with was Klaus Morgan, who was somewhere around this area, uh, and... Uh, I saw Morgan standing, leaning against the, uh, he was leaning against correct. the doctors there. Now, unfortunately, you know, uh, I mean, there's no way, apart from Adelaide's word, that we could tie him being involved because he's told me that he was in the saloon the entire time yada 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 Adelaide's changed the story a thousand fucking times um I think the best thing we can do is definitely put out a wanted for Tommy and uh Klaus and Eugene at the very least Morgan being here um I'm not inclined to fully believe that he was involved but Klaus Tommy and Eugene at least most definitely um, the only thing they will get, I mean, it was in self-defense. Uh, Clestus or whatever the fuck his name is, has already uh, told us that he shot first. Um, after a heated conversation or something like that, which caused the others to defend themselves. The Would thing this which we need to do now, violence? Well, yeah. Th this is what we need to figure out, if whether Thine was actually ripped off his horse and strangled. As he's been said, we can check his injuries. Oh, wait, injuries. um... <laughs> I'm going to leave all that up to you because I have not done this and just get, I'm just going to try and finish my paperwork and I think I'm done for the night. I, yeah, I, I, I can't keep <laughs> that's yep. the same that's person fair. over and over again. I can't mm -hmm. keep it straight at this point. I'm not far behind you. <laughs> so just yeah. I'm leaving him there in the cells. If someone can let gonna, him go, go or whatever yeah, you're going to do. Who has let let him, stuff? Let him free. 
Uh, I didn't take anything from him, so. Okay, yeah, I think Maple did. I think it was probably just a knife. Because I took his knife away, I wouldn't give him back. Don't talk to me. Shut up. Leave me alone. Yeah, it's just there's a point where it gets really <laughs> exhausting when it's the same group of people over the same conflict over and over again. They're just going back and forth at each other. It's like, what do you do? You know, you can't do anything after a point. That's what we missed. We should have given them group violence. That's that's the charge we missed for Speedy's group. Yeah. I mean, that's that's part of the reason for lengthier Sisica sen sentences, because it forces that distance. I throw one party and the whole place just blows up. Yes. Never got to go to have any off duty time. So you can't double time if they're arrested for the same offense shortly after leaving Sisica. Yeah, I know it's it's like ah. Like, if the deputies are still doing your paperwork from the last time you were in there, maybe it's too soon to be doing things that get you arrested. Oh no, she's horrible. You will not get the full truth from her. Well, the problem is, it's like, half the group already went and shot them down. You know, shot down Tyne and his people. And then that half of the group got sent to Sisica. Well, the other half is still out, and they're angry, so they go after them. It's like, ugh, can you guys just chill?
just hard to do. And if they're actively just like repeatedly kidnapping people. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Satrax. The other day you ragged all in the river instead of to clean yourself off. Was that just RP? No, I was literally trying to get the mud off my character. Well, they did, she did, she did tell me. She did tell the law. So she did tell the law that. But then she's mad at us because we have to arrest people for... Thank you so much, Unicorn. That means a lot. We did, we did tell her. Or she did, she did tell us about everything. It's just she she wants to lie to cover up for her friend's vigilantism, and then she's mad at us because because we um you know <sighs> yeah some folks are being on yeah exactly it's just what is like another situation. And it's the same group. It's like, really? Okay, let me make sure I still have everything in order here. <sighs> yeah, no, the gang versus gang and nobody saying anything is very exhausting. No, I didn't put ammo in. Oh, I put something, yeah. See, I'm tired and exhausted. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, but my break is logging off. So, you know. Let's raid Solidson. You guys can go give him some love.
guys thanks for hanging out i'll see you again later so you have to solid send who's playing dr tyne that creepy dude we're dealing with good night <laughs>